is going on, everybody? Welcome to the I Tap That Cigar Show presented by Corona Cigar. There are a lot more people on camera tonight than there normally is. So uh, is let's holy show. Yeah, let's let's do a round of introductions because this is also Broadleaf Bully Live. So I'm Broadleaf Bully Kevin. I'm Broadleaf Bully Jess. I'm Broadly Fully Care. And I'm Broadly Fully Jen. And we are the, the Broadly, Broadly Fully. We talk. You listen. We are the Broadly Bullies. And here's your hosts, Kev, Care, Jesse, and Jen. What what what's going on? I don't know. It's not it, Sunday night. I know it that. Is, much. It is not Sunday night. Uh, well, nobody no they don't nobody ever watches us on Sunday night. Anyways, it's always like Wednesday. No, afternoon. but I know it's Sunday night. Yeah, so. you know it's Sunday night. That's all. That so, uh, uh, Kara, Kara, what do you, what do you got? What do you got going on there, Kara? That is a giant container. A bottle of pee. Uh, that is a, a giant bottle of Old English. Old English filled my mind and I came up with a nasty rhyme. I'm going <laughs> to knock you out. Ooh, mama said so, that. So, yes, uh, um, uh, once a month we're going to try oh. some, something new. <laughs> wow, it's been way too long. I'm I, sorry. I, I, I can't wait to see uh, next month's uh, uh, beer of uh, Choice for Care. This month it's uh, OD, Old E. But uh, uh, we got we have Bully Live. So once a month we're going to try and do uh, one of our Broadleaf Bullies shows on a Monday night. Um, and then invite uh, a couple that's in the cigar industry. Tonight, we've got Chris and Steph Monaco from uh, Amendola Family Cigars. Uh, next month, we got uh, uh, Honest Abe DeBabna and his wife, Brandy. Um, basically, what I want to do is because uh, Chris Monaco is probably like the coolest guy in the cigar industry that I know. And I really wanted to, to bring his wife on to show everybody he's really Thanks, not man. that Thanks, he's really man. not that cool. No, um, and he's actually a jerk. <laughs> Because that'll make me personally feel better, knowing that he's not as cool as everybody thinks he is. Um, so that's really the only reason I'm doing this. Um, it's all for me. Um, so yes, uh, I need I need a cigar. Uh, let's get right into it with the Cigar Medics Humidimeter Cut and Light. Oh, you have one as well. So remember with the Cigar Medics Humidimeter, you'll always know when to hold them and know when to smoke them. I'm jammed up. I can't get my cigar medic humidimeter. Because I'm crowded. Oh. You're crowded me. 62. I'm at 64 percent. Uh, Jessica, oh, uh, yeah. 63. 63. Jessica, what are you smoking sure. tonight? Um, you actually gave this to me because I didn't even know we had this. This is the Amendola Sumatra Corona. The the cannoli. The cannoli. The cannoli. Yeah, I I didn't even I didn't even know that Amendola had uh, the yeah. Sumatra cannoli. I was I up know. at uh, what. Uh, yeah, I was. I was. Like uh, a dark chocolate cannoli. Uh, no, yeah, no, no, green no, one. no, the green it's one. Green. So that's how so we. That, pistachio. No. See, pistachio in, on the end in, in, in this house, that's how we know uh, Amendola cigars. Which ones we like? Colors. Um, I like purple. <laughs> um, and uh, which oh, I, the Padrino. Padrino. See, I know. I know all the colors and names. Purple. Oddly enough, I, I don't get any Amendola cigar. They don't yeah, send me any. Yeah. So so yes, I like purple. And then tonight. I am smoking red. I'm not 100 percent what red is. Um, red is the is the Matoro, unless it's the cannoli. Then I think it's it's. Um, I don't think. No, I think all the cannolis, cannolis had ba had uh, had primary bands. Yeah, they said, do. There, yeah. There's red. There's it's, it's the color of the Italian flag. There's so, red, so, white, so and this green. this doesn't have a primary band. It no, only it has a red just, foot band. It only has the red foot band. It sounds like but, maybe you took the primary band off. Did, and forgot. No, did not. No, I have not. a couple of them that were. But these are ones that Chris sent me. Uh, yes. not, not not rubbing Those that in. Tested. Not 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 rubbing that in. Care these are the ones that uh, I know. Well, for so, yep, um, we got nothing. Yes, and I am cutting that with my cigar medics baller. Uh, Jessica, you want to check the the comments? See if we got anything else. I'm all nervous because Jessica, I don't have. I don't know. Oh, I'll check I them in a minute, Kevin. Yeah, I, when I don't you have, decide to not be a control freak. What am I? What am I smoking, Kev? Is that what you're going to ask? Yeah. Yes, I, I'm. I'm getting to that. I'm just trying to concentrate on lighting okay. my cigar. Okay, well, go, ahead. go ahead. So, all so right. Kevin. It's. Uh, I'm smoking the uh, Amandolt. No, I'm smoking the uh, the Sweetgrass Gringo uh, Lancero, and then afterwards I will have the Big Tony Lancero. Nice. Oh, right, right on. I um afterwards I will be smoking the uh the the JC Newman Diamond Crown 
Maximus uh, from our fine sponsors, JC Newman. <laughs> Jen, are you drinking any coffee or anything? No, because I'm on a ridiculous intermittent fast right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah no. She's so, really pleasant to be around, too. So yeah. I'm <laughs> drinking water. Okay. I'm on my 14-hour fast right now. I don't eat after 6 o'clock. Okay. No. Oh. Yeah, I, yeah, my brother does that. Yeah, like I, 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 I've, I've been looking into it. You know that there are a lot of health benefits to the fasting. So it's actually not. Honestly, it's not horrible. Um, I would love a big old cup of coffee right now, which I could have done because I could have liquids after six p.m. Mm -hmm. But since I'm early into it, it's only like day five. I'm trying to just drink water after six, um, and not have. Fasting is good for you. Yeah. But I have felt fine with it it's it's been okay. the key is to fast like a, a overnight like like what she's doing and i did it mm -hmm. before it's like stop eating at like five six o'clock don't eat anything i didn't eat anything until noon yeah the next day yeah i do 14 hours so i have coffee in the morning though but i'm not putting sugar in it it's just a splash of milk i still have to add that in yeah but i don't smoke cigars for everyone who's watching yeah. so i'm the only non-cigar smoker so yeah, so so we've got some people maybe watching tonight, listening to the podcast in the future. Uh, this is Jennifer Care's other half. Mm -hmm. People are, are often used. To I'm behind the Jessica. scenes. Yes, behind the scenes. <laughs> Unlike when Jessica's behind, I send your packages also, and stickers yeah. and products and everything. Yes, and design T-shirts and hats. Nice. All right, well let's uh, let's hop right into it. Um, um, <laughs> yes, uh, we, we got that. I got my notes. So before we actually go, Kevin wrote in your interruptions in his show notes. I did. It was uh, their little asterisk. Uh, I just knew. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah. So before we bring on our guest tonight, we want to take a moment to uh, thank all of our show partners for making this show happen each and every week. JC Newman's, uh, JC Newman Cigars, Cigar Medics, Amandola Cigars. We are the muscle. Excelsior Tobacco, makers of the Doña Lydia, GTO Cigars. Those who know, smoke GTO, Drew Estate. And of course, experience acid. Waiting patiently in the experience asset green room is Chris Monaco of Amendola Family Cigars and his wife Stephanie. Okay, oh, we, got, we got we got Jess and Care battling for the mice tonight. Oh, that I, one thing Kevin didn't didn't say. <laughs> I know I'm done. I'm you know what I'm not going to battle someone over the mouse. This is how this That's entire show is going to go. Just nobody is going to be speaking. We're all going to be fighting. <laughs> So, well, uh, that's normally what happens on the bully show. Yes. So why would it be uh, welcome, Stephanie? Welcome, Chris. Stephanie. Thank you guys. Thanks for having us. Thanks for um, having us. I just have to step in here real quick, just before we go any further. <laughs> Kevin, you do have a cannoli. That's actually from my personal stash from like three productions ago that I didn't put pans on. That's, that's nice. Oh, I remember that. That, that, was my, that, was, that was from my personal stash. That Kerry, thing. fuck you. You're right. I'm an asshole. I should get, I should be sending you more cigars. You're gonna get a care package this week. I've just been a little busy, but you know you should have no problem opening your mouth to me. You act like you don't know. You can't just call me. Say, Chris, well, listen. Here's <laughs> listen. So, it's real simple. I don't. I, I I buy my cigars. No. 
listen, you're my friend. All you have to do is call me. You should know that by now. Third, you should just send them on your own accord. Third, you should have third, to third, you really, really brought it back with I the fucking old tweet like in the brown bag, bro. I used to be <laughs> brown bagging that thing on 233rd in McLean Avenue when you're I was right? like, the old E. Bro, you're bringing it back. <laughs> I'll oh, around, Chris. I'll yeah. around. That's awesome. Uh, so, so, Stephanie, w- welcome. W- welcome to. <laughs> th- this is just this is just what happens, you know. So, you have how many people from the Jersey metro area? Yeah. On yeah. one screen. That, 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 that's it. So, so what? What are you? What are you folks smoking tonight? I'm smoking a uh, Badrino, the purple, from what you call it. <laughs> purple. It's it's brilliant. It's purple. It's colored. People like colors when they don't know their when they don't can't Kevin, remember the speak names. For yourself, say I. I like people. colors. All people. <laughs> hey. All people. So, Ste- Stephanie, what what are you what are you smoking tonight? The cannoli. Just for all you viewers out there, I'm not like a real smoker. I'm like a sometime smoker. So the challenge tonight is for me to finish this. Just then I can grill. <laughs> so, 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 how, how often do you uh, do you uh, you sit down and enjoy a cigar? Is it just special occasions, or do you try like once a week or so? Maybe once a month. I mean, I have a full time job, I'm a full time mom. We've got an eight year old, so I just did like a mountain of homework with her. You know, mommy wifey duties. I don't really have time to smoke cigars all the time, so maybe once or twice a month. All right. So, so how long? How long are you? I make. I make up for it. I make. Yeah. Just say, Chris, you gotta step up and give her some more time to smoke a cigar. What the yeah. Shit? Yeah. That, that, that's it. Don't, don't fuck my shit up over there, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pe- pe- people always tell me, it's like, oh, it must be nice that your, you know, your your significant other smokes, and I'm like, yeah, it's nice doubling my cigar bill. Yes, that's that's awesome. <laughs> You know, oh, so no, no, Jess gets her own cigars, Kevin. Yeah. Don't go down yeah, the fucking path. Jess, Jess does buy some of her oh. own cigars. Oh. Oh. Jess yeah. has her own stash. Yes. I buy a lot of my own cigars. For the next 45 minutes, I'm you're going to hear Jessica you get rest. Free Kevin. Cigars, yeah. Kevin. <laughs> I, I work for them free cigars like I'm doing right now. This is work. So. <laughs> So well, Steph- I, I'm only on for, because I wanted to meet Jessica because she's like my internet friend that I want to meet. So we're gonna send her some cigars. So right, right. Well, the, I, I I had to get I had to borrow this one from her. She she took she takes all of them. I don't know. take all of them. I can't help it that yeah. I yeah. buy cigars. I get cigars. Chris gave me cigars when we saw him in yeah. Miami. So yes. when we were. Uh, at smoke Jessica in. doesn't have time to smoke cigars like you do, Kevin. No, I or know. nor do I want to yeah. smoke that many cigars either. Sometimes you smoke like what four or five a day. I, I was getting at one point when I was when I, when I was still on my crutches, I was smoking eight eight a day. Ugh. Oh my so. god, that's the problem. Yeah, I, oh my god, I'm not gonna lie, I'm up to like four or five a day now, and that's my regular. You know, uh, it, it was it was to the point where it was <laughs> at, at, at number eight. It was like the first cigar of the day. It was nothing. No fact, no nothing on me. Well, yeah, yeah. because at that point your palate, your palate's fried, bro. By the yeah, time you get the four or five, yeah, smoking just a smoke. That, that, oh. that, that's all. That's all it was. So, Steph, how long have you been smoking? Did, was it well? Uh, uh, did Chris get you into uh, cigar smoking, or did you have come from a, a lineage of cigar smokers? Oh no, I've never been a smoker. I just decided if you can't beat them, uh, join them. And <laughs> so sure. I dabbled when we were in New York after I had our daughter, and he was out of the cigar lounge, and he would bring me these. What were they called? The the nub. Yeah. Oh yeah, cafe nub. The little nub cafe ones. Nubs. Yeah. So he would bring those home for me, and I would have them. But I mean, like I said, I'm not really like a true like smoker. <laughs> The, those little yeah, nub, yeah those little nub cafes are good. Yeah, those nub cafes yeah. are awesome. Yeah, Chris, you got to get Jeffrey to roll her some uh, some coffee. You know, next time he's making a uh, some what? what well, is, he does the apple pie moonshine. Yeah, he does the apple pie. He does yeah. the, okay, no, uh, he gave me one and Chris smoked it on me. I remember <laughs> he gave me one for Thanksgiving or something last year, right. and well, he smoked it. I didn't get to smoke it because you were sitting on it too long. Like, that's what happens, man. <laughs> sat on mine for a while because when I first ordered them, when he finally made them and I got mine, they were I mean, they were potent. So I let mine sit for a little bit and I finally smoked one uh, a couple weeks ago. Oh my god, it's fantastic. That cigar is so good. Yeah, that, the bourbon barrel. We do a couple things. We're trying to get 
we're trying to get bourbon barrels and, and ferment like a lot of our tobacco in there, like the ones that will, you know, we roll for events and stuff like that. Yeah. So we, we make that. We'll get old bourbon barrels. We'll get shit like that, and then we we like to let them sit for like we'll let them sit in there for like a month or two. Nice. Back, so. Well, whatever whatever you guys are doing, it's awesome. Those were oh, freaking amazing. We got, we got a long way to go. We appreciate you know you guys supporting us from day one. Kerry since day one since me and Jeff linked up, man. He's always been a, a you know a proponent of uh, you know always uh, having our backs and and uh, you know supporting what we're doing. So I got nothing but love for everybody on this screen right now, man. Yeah, you know, and, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to have you and Steph on because you really because you have been supporting Jess and I from the beginning. Yeah. I, I feel like sometimes like we, you know, the four we come up together, you know. Yeah. So it's like it's like you know we we weren't really that big when you guys really weren't you know starting off. Yeah. We were all just kind of kind of like doing our thing, and plus plus you and Jeff are kind of tough. So whenever now I can say <laughs> I got a guy like I I, 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 I now I have guy. like from the movies like <laughs> oh I God, legitimately have a guy now. So he's, he's no, right he is the guy. That's it. Like, I got, don't mess with me. I, I got I got a guy. I got a guy. So um how how, how long how long just you, a, go ahead. How long have you and Je, uh, um or uh, Steph been uh, married? We're, we're gonna start off. He went through all our we're, we're gonna we're gonna start off with, with our Chris, how long you how long you and Jeff been married? How long you Jeff been married? Yeah, how long have me and Jeff been married? Yeah. Uh, well, me and Jeff been together for four years. Jeff Sickle just so you know. Yeah. He's, a yeah. side. He's a side woman. He's a side <laughs> person. Uh, no, me, we've been together, me and Jeff have been together since. Uh, no, how long have we been together? I was you and Steph. I was being a dick, Chris. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, Kara's just being a dick. No, I don't even know. Fuck you, 20 cents. We've been together for 10 years. I'll let you answer, Dom. We've been you together answer. for 10 years, and we've been married for six. But it's like you've been married for ten. Yeah. All right. Nice. So where 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 did where did you guys where did you guys meet? Of course. So. Go ahead. You, you tell it. Tell. No, you tell it. Go ahead. <laughs> I know you want to tell it, so tell it. Go ahead. Okay. So we met at a gas station. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they want to know, like, you got to be a little bit more. I want to exit. Okay. Yeah, I want yeah, exit. Don't, don't yeah. go too granular. Just tell them, like, you know. Okay. Was it a VP? Right. A so, show? I was going to see Jersey Boys in the City with my friend who came in because I had moved from Texas to New York. I was there for a year. My friend came in town. We were going to go see Jersey Boys in the City. And um, I stopped at the gas station. And we actually lived really close to each other and didn't know. And so I stopped at the gas station to get a Rockstar energy drink. And he was walking into the gas station as I was walking out. And he was playing heavy metal, Lamb of God specifically. And so I was like, woo, with my hands in the air. And I get in the car and I'm like, this guy's gonna ask for my phone number, but we don't have time to stop because we're gonna miss the train. So sure enough, he follows me up the street. We stop at the light. And he goes, hey, what's your name? I said my name. And we kept going, like, back and forth at the light. Hey, do you have a boyfriend? And I said, I have two. And I kept going, just to be stupid. Just to be stupid. And then we, I kept going. Can I be one of them? Maybe. Kept going. Long story short, he got my number. We ended up talking. And we were together pretty much every day after that. You couldn't resist. You picked up two hot stars that day. <laughs> So 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 uh uh where, where was where was the first date? Where, what was the uh what what's the first date story? Straight Something dance. romantic? No, was it straight up? Straight up. Oh, straight up. You guys had a straight up. the first date story. No, well, so the first place I ever took her was uh so I used to have a, a boat dock down near the Hudson River. So me and my buddy, you know, we had like a thirty six footer man. We used to like go out there, and that was like our spot. They had like a. Um, you know, they had like a dock, like marina with a nice little restaurant. And so we would always be there. I knew everybody at the restaurant. You know, we were, you know, we were, we were, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Constance, you know, at that restaurant. So, um, it was, you know, it was right on the water. It's right overlooking the Tappan Zee Bridge. So I figured that'd be the first good place to take her. And nice. That's, that was and I wasn't, I, I, I didn't have anything, but all I knew how to eat was chicken, beef, or uh, pork, that's it. So he introduced me to like all this seafood. I was super impressed. And it was like a wrap after that. 
Well, I mean, especially coming from coming from Texas, is that is that where you grew up? Was Texas? Yeah, I grew up in Texas. So, so what what brought you out to New York? If if you don't you know if you don't mind asking. When I was a little girl, I always thought I was going to be a big ad executive in New York City, and so I just went out there to try to make go of it. <laughs> Wow, there you go. Nice. A, 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 a little bit of a culture shock, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Just <laughs> Especially when she met my family for the first time. And we were all like, because, you know, back then when, when she first got with me, that's when my family was really big still and strong. They were, you know, we, we used to do, you know, Christmas, seven fishes, every Sunday dinner on my cousins. You know, you have 10, 15, 20 people. My nonna's house, you know, a guy smoking, my uncle smoking cigars. You know, you know, it was. It, she got to see it towards the tail end. So, uh, you know, in the beginning, I remember when I first took her to my mother's house. You know, me and my mother, you know, we're uh, we're pretty. Uh, you know, I thought they were fighting. <laughs> yeah, we're we're pretty like aggressive with each other, fighting. like not in a bad way, but like you know, like we sit down at the table, and my mother's like, "What the fuck do you do that?" And I'm like, "Mom, shut the fuck up! What the fuck?" You know, I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm pretty sure and Kevin my, is. And, used and my to wife, me. you know. She, <laughs> She's not used to that. So when she came to sit down, she like kind of was like, like kind of thrown off. Like she's like, is everything all right? Like I feel like awkward. Like you guys are like yelling at each other, cursing at each other. And then like two seconds later, you're like, yo, can you pass the, you know, pasta? And like, yeah, you know, like but I told her, I said, listen, that's what we do. You know, we yell, we, we get at each other. We, you know, you know, throw bomb, F bombs around all over the place. And then we, we say, I love you. And you go on with the night. Like this is, you know. So she, she, at first, it was definitely a little culture shock to her. But now I think I almost, uh, I think I almost changed her a little bit. She's been around my family too much because now she's like, <laughs> when I first met her, she was like so sweet, would never say a curse word. Like, and now she's like, she like, there's moments where it's like, she'll be real ruthless. I'm like, man, where did that come from? Where did you get that from? You know? You toughened me up. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I, so I, I, I know this is about uh, all about you guys, but I, so first time I met Jessica's parents, well, not the first time, one of the first like interactions, she invites me over there. They're playing dominoes. So I, I, I don't know what plan. I'm like, you guys play. I'm a, I'm a stand off to the side. Like they're like 15 minutes in. They're like slamming shit on the ground, yelling at each other, you know, like they're, 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 they're cussing. And then like, and then the, the next time, like you want it on the next game? And I go, no, I don't, I don't know what's happening here. Do, do any of you like each other? Yeah, and, yeah. It was terrified. He goes, does anyone hear anyone? I'm like, probably yeah. not. We just all talk. Like everybody's talking. It's very loud. You don't know so sometimes, man. But then you get used to the noise, you know? Yeah. So yeah. like she's used to it. She's used to it now. I mean, well, now there's not anybody left, but but it's know, funny because I always think of that story because Kevin was, he was like, You you guys are animals. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you guys were like, how do you want to kill each other and still play? It, it, we're like, that is, it's fun. Like we were having fun. He didn't get that. Yeah. It didn't come across. That's it. So so <laughs> Jen, Jen and Care, do, uh, any like first family stories like that you know uh, uh, we're kind of boring <laughs> well no i mean I, I whenever i go to your your dad's house and all your family's together I, and you know your family's up from or down from jersey i don't say anything because it's competitive conversation yeah I, it is constant interruption it's like Finishing sentences. just fucking i i just sit there and pet the dog pet the cat <laughs> and just like you know i'm not even gonna try and have a conversation or speak very I could be on fire and no one would notice. Just blow out by the end of it. Yeah. Oh, oh my Very God. smart. He just lets the, he just watches the, the, it's like watching a car wreck. Just let it happen. It is. Just shakes yeah. its head. Yeah. A, yeah. Lot it. a lot yeah. of car wrecks. A lot of car wrecks. Like, 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 where are you from, from Ohio. Oh, you're from Ohio. No, I'm not from Ohio. Pittsburgh. 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 No, no, I'm not from Pittsburgh. I live. I lived I lived in Pittsburgh for five years before I before I moved down here. No, it's a, uh, I'm uh, I'm from uh, Lebanon, the center part, closer to Philly. Oh, Philly. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was thinking Ohio. That was uh, no. Kevin's from Ohio. Oh, so I, I'm I'm from Ohio. He was in Ohio for three months, and then he yeah, moved to Florida. I was in Ohio for two years, and so I'll always be a Buckeye. <laughs> and then I then I moved. I, I packed the family up, and then moved us all down when I was three. I at least lived in Pennsylvania for forty years before I moved down here. Yeah. So, so, so you guys moved uh, uh, from uh, uh, New Jersey, New York, to South Carolina. How how long were you guys in South Carolina? 
type in in oh wait them no Wrong no people. kevin's not asking us a fucking thing <laughs> I, I don't even know why we're here <laughs> we might as well just drop off and think yeah later. yeah oh, don't go no. no 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 we're just, we're we're just picking on you're kevin gonna leave me, sweetheart? No, no kevin you're gonna fucking leave me Come yeah on. yeah uh, uh, kevin, kevin, is yours, kevin you can re-ask the question yeah. kevin sorry kevin i'm leaving your chat so chris chris and steph how, how'd you guys uh, <laughs> uh wind up in south because because you're in florida now we're going to get to that in a second how'd you wind up in south carolina so when when um obviously she told you story when we met i was working in the city um i worked you know I was elevator escalator mechanic for years uh, New York City Transit, so I handled everything from downtown Manhattan to uptown. I was constantly working, constantly working. Uh, every overtime, every Christmas, every Christmas Eve, every holiday. Uh, I worked nights for two years. I was never home. And then, you know, she ended up getting pregnant. And then, I, you know, we had our daughter. And for like the first two years of my daughter's life, I, I just never saw them. I mean, especially when I was working nights. I was doing 10 to 6 on Dykeman, um, Harlem, you know. You know, they, I, I'd be coming home to go to sleep, and then they, they'd be going out to school and work or preschool and work. And, you know, as soon as they're coming home, I'm, you know, it's, it, I, we just never saw each other. So uh, after a while, she, you know, her not being from there, she was like, you know, how the fuck do you live like this? She was like, you want to do this? For I'm like, you know, me, I didn't know any better because that's what I, that's what I know. That's my whole life. Like, that's, you know, what I'm used to. Um I actually so, like being around him. I want him around. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes. After Don't 10 years, you. I still like to be around yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, so she started, and then obviously, like I said, my, I had my daughter, and then for two years, you know, I was constantly working. I was never around. And so finally, you know, she, you know, she got to the point where she was like, you know, I, we're having a family now. I want to get out of New York. And at that point in time, my family was just really, I was starting, you know, we were starting to lose a lot of people and, and the family dynamic was starting to change anyway. And, you know, then taxes were going up, property taxes, my fucking easy pass was 350 a month for tolls. Uh, it just, it, it, it was just like an endless cycle, man. Just, and, and, and like I said, I was, I was used to living like that because I've lived like that my whole life. So you, did you just her, say three, did you say $350 a month? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's insane. My easy pass, man. So. You know, which wow. I'm used to while you're up there because you're making good money too. So it's like yeah, but you know, but it was more about the it was more about expensive the, up there. Yeah, it was more about the free time though, and like being around more and not just you know because that's the other thing, man. There's a lot of guys that I work with, you know, did 20, 25 years in track or under the ground, and you know they trying to get up their annuity, they're trying to get their pension and all this shit, and they're miserable. And then they they and then. I mean, no shit. And the guy that I work with, he was, you know, waiting to retire, waiting to retire. And I would always tell him, Kenley, retire, retire. And he's like, no, nah, you know, I get bored. As soon as he retired, I left, he retired. I finally got a call from my buddy like two weeks after I left. And he's like, yeah, Kenley retired. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And then I got a call like a month later that before he even got his first check, the guy dropped dead. So, you know, like it started really quick to me where I was like, man, like, you know, life's more... It's, you know, there's more to life than just working every second and we're hustling and worry about money. And, you know, I'm at a point that now in my life, you know, listen, you always want to make more money. You always want to become more successful. Um, but, you know, I'm happy where I'm at. You know, like I don't need to make, you know, 130, 150,000, whatever a year. I don't need I don't. It's nice, but it's not a necessity. Now it's more about doing things that I love to do, like cigars, spending time with the people that are close to me, being good to them, building memories, you know, um, you know, like I said, I've lost a lot of people in the last six years. So my mindset as I've grown older has changed a little bit as, uh, as what's in, as far as the priority list. Um, and as I'm getting older, I'm finding that, you know, time, moments, memories, the people that you surround yourself with, um, and, and the moments are more important than things and money and, you know, material shit. And, you know, um, people get really, and listen, you, it's good to be successful. It's good to be hungry and, and self-motivated, uh, but you can't let it consume you. And I think, uh, for the first time in my life, I'm starting to, to realize what's, what's really important, you know? Great. So. And, and it's great because like, you could, I could call our daughter in here right now and ask her 
one name one thing that you've done that your daddy has missed and she wouldn't be able to name anything. He, I don't know how he does it. I, I have so much respect for him. Some nights, you know, he doesn't get any sleep. He's doing all these things. And he still shows up for everything for our daughter. That's, That's beautiful. Nice. That, so that, I, that, I, 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 I'm gonna Kevin. I don't mean to derail yeah. your questions. No, no, go, go right ahead. <laughs> but I want to. I, I do want to ask Stephanie something, um, because you said you're from Texas. You're up in Jersey, New York. You live in South Carolina, now Florida. What's your favorite place, or how would you rank those areas and why? Well, my natural answer is something that I know he's gonna roll his eyes at, but I'm gonna say it anyways. <laughs> my favorite place is wherever he is. We could go to Arkansas. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, no, I, I, I shit you not. I could. Go, I could. I love I could that. You Why can't you answer that? questions like that, Jen? Did you answer that? <laughs> Kevin asked you. No. What's your answer, <laughs> no you uh, could drop me anywhere in the country, no. and I will find. I will figure it out, and I will find the food, and I will find the nail shop. Uh, I will find. But my favorite place is with him. Yeah, that's your home. So lucky. He is my home. Yeah. The Jess. Yeah, that's your home. <laughs> but, that's your home. I mean, I, I understand what she's saying, though. It, I do me, too. it doesn't matter where I we live. Like, Kevin, ranking. Kevin <laughs> wouldn't three move. States. Yeah. Like, What's I that? would move three wherever. Three You're complicating this for them. Okay. Okay. Just tell right. them for fine. me, it would be South Carolina, Massachusetts. I didn't ask you. My wife is very cheesy. I'm very cheesy. I'm very cheesy. You see that? You know what I love about that, though, Stephanie. You, you answer the you answer the question. You say it's anywhere he is, and Jen goes, "It was my it's South Carolina, Massachusetts." South Carolina, Not once was there Carolina. ever where Carrie is. She I was knows where you are. Never fucking Massachusetts. That was, that was never. <laughs> we, we we don't we don't South Carolina. Yeah, we don't do a lot of love on the Broadleaf Bullies. We, um, do we show don't. Love. Yeah, we don't do a lot. But of listen, love. he told me to be myself, and I'm. I'm yeah. Cheesy. Yes. That's see, what we when want. we meet in person, I'm a hugger. I yeah. love people. If I love you, I love you. If I don't, I just won't talk to you. Right here, <laughs> I love that answer. I yeah. Just, but of the three states, of four, because we moved to North Carolina first, and then we moved to another house in South Carolina. So I would probably have to say Florida because we have a beautiful house here. I have access to it. I love Spanish food because I grew up in Texas. And I'm probably getting like 10 pounds since we moved to Florida because I can have any kind of food that I want, and food is my love language. That's actually how he got out of the friend zone, is he brought me food. <laughs> he brought me food. Nice. And I, I just, food. I just, oh, instead of bringing flowers, he, he brought her, you know, some some, some fresh bread. Not, not, all, not a lot of good food. food. Yeah. Yeah. I'd go for that. Mm -hmm. yeah, not a lot of good food choices in Rock Hill. No. <laughs> yeah. Rock so, so Terrible. It's so horrible <laughs> the Carolinas. I'm sorry. It's awful. Grits. So, so you're, so you're, you're fairly new Floridians. You guys been what about six months now? Nine months? Yeah, about, about, yeah, like, like eight, right? Yeah. Well, February. February. Yeah, February. February. Yeah. February. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you were here, but I didn't come down till what March or June, right? I can't. Like two remember. weeks later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, probably about like eight months, something like that. So uh, is it is there something you guys miss from New York, New Jersey, and then South Carolina that you can't get here in Florida? You know, um, be, be it food, atmosphere, or just anything. I miss. Oh, listen, man, New York's my home. I'm, there's just something about you know. I mean, you know, Westchester, Yonkers, the Bronx. You know, any of the five. Bro you know, I have my spots. You know, growing up, you remember when you were a kid going by. You know, you have those. Weird memories of you know you, you you know you going with your your mother here your grandmother you know so I, I always get nostalgic when I get back home I mean that's my home man that's where I was born and raised my whole life you know so um, but I, I, I get like that with New York I have to say though like with with North Carolina it's, it's different because for me the the hardest thing for me was to move out of New York so once I moved out of New York that was really like pulling the band aid off like. After that, I could leave anywhere because my roots and my, you know, perception of where I come from and, you know, you know, what makes me tick and all that, 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 that comes from New York. So once I was able to leave that and let that go, I could move anywhere after that. It, it, like I have no, I have no connection. There's no emotional connect. Like 
I, not to talk anything bad about, you know, I love all my friends in North Carolina, South Carolina. It worked out great for the time being. It was a stepping stone for, for me to get out of New York. Because, like I said, that was the hardest thing for me personally. Um, but I don't have any real ties to the Carolina. So for me to leave, it's not like, oh, I had 20 years of memories. My families were there. I remember growing up and going, like, so I don't have that. I mean, I, for me, it was just a, a place that, you know, it was a stepping stone that we stopped that helped get us to the final destination. That, that's kind of the way I look at it. It was a great experience. I, I have a lot of friends, you know, that, and uh, people that I built relationships with in North I mean, shit, if I would have never went to North Carolina, me and Jeff would have maybe not met, which is even yeah. weird because me and Jeff literally come from the same area. Like, we knew, we know some of the same people, you know what I'm saying, which we never met at home growing up in the same area, and we're the same age. He's, he's yeah. a year but we, it had to take coming down here and then meeting through a, a mutual friend. So, I mean, you know, everything happens for a reason. So I don't ever want to say, like, oh, I regret this. or it, it was good for the time that was meant to be. You know what I'm saying? But now but it's good. Now now we're, now we're on to, to the next chapter. You know? tough, tough to believe that local Waffle House in Rockville. <laughs> <laughs> So so Steph so Steph I mean being a being a foodie uh, what, I mean what do you miss uh, anything from Texas or New York or even South Carolina that you can't get like food wise or anything down here? Oh no, food food was an yeah. upgrade, man. Food was an upgrade. But food in general, I'm sorry, was an upgrade. Yeah. So Italian pasta in New uh, New York, I probably miss that the most. That's Woo-hoo. probably the best Bole. restaurant. My boy Paul's restaurant. Ever. He took me there for my birthday, for my 30th birthday. I just turned 40, and he took me for my 30th birthday when we just met. I was 29, and I turned 30, like a month and a half after we met. And so um, I miss that restaurant. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, I can get everything here. And I'm telling you, this man makes, like, the best Italian food ever. Like, homemade meatballs, homemade pasta, <laughs> homemade sauce. I didn't even know what broccoli rob was until I met my husband. Mm-hmm. And now we have an Italian market out here. It's great. You can get super sauce. I bought, oh, I didn't tell you, I bought homemade mozzarella this morning. I called it mozzarella. He called it mozzarella. <laughs> it's mozzarella. <laughs> 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 when we first started dating, I tried to, like, play it off. And I was like, whoa, you know, moots. And I'm like, listen, I'm going to keep it real. I call it mozzarella. <laughs> Most I people do. It. <laughs> yeah, I told her. I said that's fine. Just don't ever say it in front of my grandparents. Don't yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my mozzarella. god. Yeah, I, I'm definitely a mozzarella. A mozzarella. Like I, I <laughs> emphasize mozzarella. mozzarella. Actually, actually, I throw There's an no A. Yeah. No it's, like, it's like he calls ricotta ricotta cheese, not okay, re- not ricotta. We're good. Good. It's no, it's, it's, it's ricotta. It's ricotta. No, it's good. Yeah, it's ricotta. I can tell you that's my favorite. He could just whisper that in my ear all night. He says ricotta. I just like know. I don't know what it is about that word. You try that tonight, Kevin. I mean, Kevin. We're good. Yeah. Je- okay. Jessica hates I, ricotta. I, 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 I do not. I do not. I don't like to it. eat it, but I like to hear him say it. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan. As, as Chris pours another drink, he's like, oh, <laughs> let's get this shit show going here. And, uh, <laughs> what did I get right. Jen, into? Jen, Jen loves to cook. Jen cooks these amazing dishes oh, that Ke- Kevin and I get to see pictures of. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to get together, everybody. So I know my kitchen's my fortress of solitude. You know that's that's where I like to be. Put music on, cook. I don't do baking. I just I don't like precise measurements. So the same dish, if I repeat it, it may be a little bit different to taste, but it's still because well, you do you do everything like I like you don't go have a recipe like you. Do all no. I'll, I'll have a base. Like I'll know the base thing. ingredients, but then I add what I add as for taste. So when yeah. I make sauce, you know, I'll start with base and then keep adding. And mm-hmm. then, you know, if I want to, then the meatballs that get added in and the different flavors come out. So I don't, I don't have a recipe. No. People at You're work a great cook recipes. though. I mean, I never seen anybody that literally can work all day, come home and be like, oh yeah, I'll dinner ready in 45 minutes. And it's like a dad. full-fledged freaking like pork chops, homemade mashed potatoes, you know, whatever, or, you know, sauce, Gettys, uh, meatballs, or uh, my favorite is eggplant parm. Eggplant parm is probably oh. my favorite. Yeah, it's never parm. bitter. It doesn't have that. No, no, that's a, that's a What's that? Eggplant parmesan. 
What shrimp kind? Parm. Shrimp parm. Shrimp parm. Shrimp parm. I would love to try shrimp parm. I've, I've, I've never heard of it. I've just got it. Yeah. Shrimp parm is on the way. I can't get it down here. It's kind of, I guess it must be. You'll safe. have to make it for Kara. I'm just starting to cook more seafood. I'm not a big oh. seafood eater. Oh, I love but seafood. Joe you get the, so you get the shrimp and you bread it. Like you bread it almost like you mm -hmm. do like a, like a chicken cutlet, right? You bread it, yeah. fry it. And then you, it's the same thing. You just put it on a wedge, oh. you know, and then you put a little mozzarella with a little bit of sauce. A yep. shit I like a lot of Parmesan cheese. I mean, I could literally dump like yeah. a mound of Parmesan I cheese. I'll try that. I'll mm. try it. It's awesome. It's awesome. That's but, so real. Apparently, you know what, Jenna, Kevin I doesn't remember, yeah. but I made it for him one time when we first started dating. But he, he's like, I've never had that. Oh, yeah, you like, made it the one time, and now it's just well, remember every you're, meal. Because you would just eat food from a tube. It's just yeah. substance. You don't have yeah. to yeah. eat frozen pizza and chicken. Kevin's food, food pellets. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's just funny, food Jen, that you, were, that you were saying that like you don't have the measurement. It's the same thing <laughs> with, like, with my sauce and like everything. My, when I make meatballs. I don't have like a oh ingredient. You know, no, yeah. I go by like, feel. Like my wife, like she'll ask me, she'll be like, "Oh, how do you? How many teaspoons?" I'm like, I don't do it like that. Like I have, right. like I said, I'll have my base. I know what I put in there, and then as I'm going, I'm like, "Oh, I need some garlic salt," or "Oh, I need exactly salt," or needs meatball specifically. I go by it. touch and yeah. smell. Yeah, yeah, that's the best way to do it. That's the best. What's way your signature do. dish? So, like I, thing to make. I honestly couldn't tell you because I'll do everything from different meats to different pasta dishes. I, I don't know what my signature dish would be. Carol, oh, I'm an excellent good. griller. I you got to ask it. Harry that question because he's the one. I don't know. He, so he doesn't want to get himself in trouble. He, no, no, he doesn't it's, complain. It's no, very it's, rare that he says, I, think, I don't like it. I'm well, very critical. When you talk about food. signature dish, I think it's the thing that you make the best and is really good. And mm -hmm. I think that your eggplant parm, she takes these, uh, <laughs> these little, uh, what are they called? You, it, this this uh, works. That's why I'm looking for you to interrupt me. A ramekin. She takes a ramekin and then she'll she'll do the uh, the eggplant. You know, like to, the, to bread it, ones. deep fry mm -hmm. it, and then then layer it. Put in the the you know the sauce. Put on the the the, the, the eggplant. Put some mozzarella on, and then the the, 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 the eggplant, the mozzarella <laughs> sauce, and then it puts it in the oven and bakes it. Mm. And that is freaking dynamite. I'm a real I'm a cheese freak, so. I'll do. Mozzarella. I'm the same way. Like, you, you, like you and I, it it. I like it super <laughs> like fluffy. I don't like. I hate when it gets clumpy and dry. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a big cheesecake fan, and we have a Hello. pizzeria right down the street from us, Anthony's. Mm -hmm. They actually get their cheesecake from Juniors. Oh, okay. In the city, so it, that's just like a. They make great New York pizza, and then I have my Juniors cheesecake when I'm not on a diet. I'm a big cheesecake guy too. I love cheesecake. Like, well, it's, it's funny you know that, but my favorite cheesecake is we got the, the Italian cheesecake. You know, the I don't like it. Oh, nope. I love it, bro. I, I don't eat like that it. All day. All that day. and tiramisu are my two favorite. <gasps> oh, I thought you were gonna <laughs> say so. That's my. I thought you were gonna say you didn't like that. that that's that's just like, I love it. I love it. That's it's probably tied for first. Those two. That It'd is a tough my, choice. That is one of my most. Kevin, favorite. maybe Kevin, maybe Chris could give me a recipe for chicken nugget parmesan. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. But uh, well, I, I, I tell you one thing. It's been a long time since I've had like a really good tiramisu. Like I, I, I was a chef for a couple of years, and I worked in a restaurant. And the chef, that our head chef, was uh, trained in Switzerland. And he made every tiramisu 100, made his own lady fingers, everything from scratch. Awesome. Mm. So, so good. I, I have yet to have Boston it. Boston Jimmy asked the question, which I always laugh at because I'm not Italian, but I can cook excellent Italian food. Where the big question of is it sauce or is it? I green? was just going to ask I that. Go, well, too bad. It's my turn. Oh, yeah. So, oh. Well, and the reason why I say sauce is more on the scientific part of it, of gravy is more semi solid. And sauce is a liquid. So I go more scientific. And I never understood why some Italian families call it Sunday gravy. You get gravy. shot. I'm and, going and scientific. It's fucking gravy. No, I, some gravy. people say gravy. And so, it's, listen, and gravy is the why. shit that you put on biscuits and gravy. The sauce yeah. shit. Or the turkey. turkey. It's, it's that's salad. gravy. Sauce is, sauce is pasta sauce. So it's not gravy, it's sauce. I know a I lot know. of I know shout a lot out of the Boston Jimmy for asking the question. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot of uh 
little old ladies that I worked with that are like from Philly and they all say gravy. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny though, my that. grandmother, my grandmother calls it gravy. Yeah. My grandma did too. They, they oh, really? Yeah, we grew up calling it gravy. Okay. So so there it. so there is a history for calling it gravy. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Mama there and my, is. They I both called it gravy. It. They yeah. never called it sauce. They always called it gravy. Yeah. But you know, I it's sauce. That's what I call sauce. So, you know, but but my normal like, the gravy, the gravy, well, the who, gravy. Whoever came up with like the gravy from like meats and stuff, like stole that from like <laughs> that's it. Well, well, red Steph, sauce Steph, gravy. They just kept it the same name. They're like, it's sauce. It's yeah. gravy. It doesn't matter. Does, <laughs> does Stephanie have a, a signature dish that she makes? What's my favorite thing? Your favorite thing that I make? Favorite thing that you make? So I'll tell you a funny story while he's thinking. Well, I'll tell you a funny story while he's thinking. So when we first started dating, right? I'm over at his place all the time. We're cooking together. Like, we're cooking at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're cooking everything together, right? And then one day, I'm like, oh, what are we going to cook together? And he looks at me, and he goes, oh, no. I taught you how to make everything that I like. <laughs> and then was game over. That was fun. So what do you like that I make that you taught me how to make? You, 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 you make the broccoli rob good now. You do make it now. <laughs> <laughs> you now. Now. Um, she, I still don't. She, she listen. She she lets me do like usually for like Christmas every year. I'll make homemade like uh, gavadel, which is homemade pot, it's homemade pasta. So I'll actually roll out the dough and make homemade mm. pasta. So you want to my so, Well, I know. Hold on. <laughs> I so I don't. I don't get to. You know, like she still makes me do most of that. So it'd have to be something that I like kind of, Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, she makes an awesome. So turkey. we met in April oh, and that July. Green bean, like, the green bean casserole. Yeah. Oh, man, that's just good too. That July, he was like, Oh, I feel like having Thanksgiving dinner. So I made him Thanksgiving dinner in July. Yeah. Oh, nice. 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 I made Thanksgiving dinner oh, for yeah. so. He loves yeah. like turkey, all that stuff. It's weird. Like I, I like what she she like the Italian stuff, she's she makes well now, but honestly, I taught her most of it because I don't want to do it anymore. Um, so, but a lot of the American, you know, like American dishes and stuff like that. Like she makes, uh, she makes really good. Um, what was it? I'm not big on it, but we do. It is good. When she, makes it a big price. she makes a lot, and she makes very good Mexican food. She's the whitest Spanish girl you'll ever know. <laughs> <laughs> like she okay. speaks fluent Spanish. No, I do. I speak like she, oh, okay. She's from, yeah. she's from Texas, so she's real good with like making like homemade pinko de gallo and homemade tacos. Mm. You know, so I really should have been a Latina, but I'm yeah. not. Yeah. Now, now, Chris, has that been a um? Uh, uh, she speaks fluent Spanish. Has that come in handy? No. Yeah, because you're you're dealing with a lot of Latin American countries. You know, um, so uh, that- I've actually I've actually have used her on two separate occasions when I had to deal with like uh, my box guy a couple a couple times. I've, I've had to use I've had to use her. Yeah. I keep okay. trying to speak Spanish, but he doesn't want to learn. Oh. <laughs> it's not yeah. easy. He's, Why am he's, I gonna learn? I could just call, I got her. That's good. He's, he's getting old. There's just he's getting just, old. Oh, oh, too old to learn that shit. Like that, yeah. that part of bridesmaids where the lady's making the speech and she's like in the escuela. That's my husband. Yeah. <laughs> what is gator sushi? Oh, Boston, Boston Jimmy. Jimmy. You gotta gator. explain. Gator sushi. I guess just sushi is made out of gator. gator? It has a gator in it. It's yeah. it's. Uh, I've had that. Gator sushi. All it is they just you know it, it, the meats that you put in a in a roll. They I've had it with chicken. I've had it with with gator. Huh? Yeah. Different yeah I've, had, I've had gator before. Yeah. Oh, he said a joke. Yeah. Oh, I joke. actually oh, have okay. had it though. It's yeah. not a joke, Jimmy. Yeah, I, I would imagine that they they do have it now. Uh, yeah, I've eaten yeah. gator before, but never like that for the Floridians. Yeah. Yeah. Really now, now what about? Now, now what like about? Gu- um, it's like a guana. Oh guana. yeah. I've had yeah. gator before. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they, I heard. they had a restaurant called Papadell, and they had yeah. gator. I've yeah. had gator before, yeah. but so, I don't know. What 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 about uh, what about? I know Jen and Kara are huge coffee nuts. Uh, what what about coffee? Is that something? Uh, being New York, it's what you think about coffee, pizza. You know, um, uh, are you able to get good good coffees down here? 
Oh my god, there's this coffee that Christopher orders you called cut off Carrie and Jen. They were oh. asking a question. No, I didn't ask. He he was I using us. He was I using us. We were all probably. conduit to you guys. Chris, this is what happened. You bring the them reference. on, you get them started. This is what happened. You the reference. Yeah. She's like, yeah. Carrie and Jen are good coffee people. Now we'll bypass them yeah, and ask yeah. them. That was going to go into a coffee talk. Because because I because I know care and Jen, you are both you know the the level of coffee down here is it the same as up north? So what's the so? coffee Chris orders you're talking yeah. you're saying? Yeah, it's called of course, express, of course, like express no, it's called bada bean. Oh, bada bean, that's my guy. Bada bean is so bada good. Bee. I've seen bada that bean. all yeah. Of course, you would order something. Yeah, like bada Jersey bean. Style coffee. <laughs> Shout bada out to bean. Andrew, owner of bada bean. Yeah, I've seen that online. Is it good? No, it's good. It is. The blend is good and the bold is good. She looked, like the blend is more medium and then the bold obviously stronger is bold, but uh, it's good. It's really good coffee. You guys should give it a shot. Guy no, Andrew, actually, very well. I, I sent him yeah. some cigars and then we had like, I guess there was a post with our cigars and their coffee and all that stuff. So oh, like, cool. I want to get something going with them, man. Yeah, yeah, Jen hates all coffee right off the bat. She's just that. <laughs> I have tried Horrible so many pessimist. ones and have paid ridiculous prices for coffee, beans to be shipped here, and mm -hmm. they've been probably some of the worst I've ever had. So I just well, give Bob a bean a shot. If you don't like it, then come yell at me. I'll blame you, Chris. The, okay, the, Chris. the best, the <laughs> best coffee, the best coffee we buy. No, is the, you know, uh, no, the, the best. <laughs> The best coffee we buy is Starbucks online and the stuff that falls off the, the, the truck in Jersey and in New I'm York. I got it. Six bags <laughs> oh, we did. A pound oh, in here for like less than six dollars a pound. It's awesome. And they're fresh <laughs> because they're the use by date isn't until the end of December 2022. So I'm saving money. Freshly fell off the truck. Oh, and the beans are perfect. Nice. It, they grind perfectly because we only use whole beans, and I am a huge coffee snob. What cigars are to you guys is what but coffee only for is star yeah. only only a coffee snob. Yeah. For she, she still tells us well, stories about that bag that, that fell off the truck. You like yeah. No, Kara says that they all <laughs> fall off the truck, Kev. It's every single one she buys online. It's always like well, during COVID, I was able to get five pound bags. It was. I can't get those anymore. It was like a baby bean delivery. Do, do you like it? do you like espresso? See, I love espresso before any. Coffee. I do. We actually have Kara's my barista. We have a nice espresso machine, but mm -hmm. I actually will like drink coffee with shots in it. I need it super bold, but not bitter. And I like a, a, almost a thick viscosity to it. I hate watered down coffee. It, I'm the same I can't way. Especially it you gotta have a little froth. It's gotta be a little frothy. Like the yeah, breakfast. it's really, I just, I love an awesome cup of coffee. So we have multiple coffee brewing devices and you, then some. Well, you know what's funny is Jen didn't realize this is is espresso beans. The darker the bean, the the, the, le the less caffeine there is. Because I don't know about caffeine. Yeah. I'm just going flavor. Yeah. yeah. So, so you know, the, the, the longer you let it roast, the more that caffeine's expelled. And, and so Jennifer had a blonde roast for the first time a couple Which of years ago. Tasting. She didn't like the taste of it, but she called me like an hour and a half later like, oh my God, I'm jittery. My heart's bleeding. Like a, a, a blonde roast, 12 ounce blonde roast will freaking knock your socks off caffeine wise versus a 12 ounce espresso roast. Yeah, um, I've, I've tried, I can't tell you how many different coffees. And Kevin and Jess pretty much know them all. Yep. That's it. Well, but we, I will we, say cigar show. So, Tim so put just so put so put his uh, his uh, um. I've uh, had I, I, and, and, and Chris, I, I know t uh, uh, Tim has uh, uh, smoked uh, some uh, Amendola cigars. I'm not sure if he's reviewed them or not. Fantastic reviewer, good friend of mine. Oh, he Tim, actually, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, yeah um, Tim, he, uh, I'm willing to try it. I just can't guarantee I'll like I'll it. But I'll, I'll be. I'm so always willing we, to try it. He owns his own. I am a very heavy critique on it. So Chris, he owns his own coffee company too. He does TurboJet coffee. Yeah, yeah. No, I know Timmy. I know Timmy. Yeah, but I, so yeah, he's well, got his own coffee thing going. No, yeah, but I, and I've so had Tim's man. coffee before, and that shit will get you <laughs> going. That is yeah. no joke, Tim. <laughs> so, so yes, anybody watching tonight, listening to the podcast in the future, just look up TurboJet coffee from Cigar Show Tim. Oh, I, know that. I want to try his coffee. I'm more open minded when it comes to different coffees. Very open minded with it. I'm just, I'm jaded. 
She's very picky. Well, yeah. Jada just probably in general is what Kara wants to yeah, say. So I'll just say it. But <laughs> when it comes to coffee, well, that's like you guys with cigars, though. Like it is com- a direct comparison with you guys with cigars as I yeah, but coffee. I, yeah. Yep. Okay. But, but, but we're not. But, 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 but we're not. We're Same not. Thing. We're not as picky. We're so, not. We're not, not as picky. You guys can get jaded at times, though. That we can. Yes, that we yes. can. I don't yeah, get jaded. It. Kara does it. I get jaded. I get jaded by who? Yeah. Oh I get jaded I for him. Somebody. Oh my god! So that's why I stay in the background, and this is probably <laughs> the only time you guys see me live. Oh All my right. god. So what what is that? Um, all right, so we're gonna move on to, to our next. <laughs> yeah, that's like, yeah, that's the longest Kevin went without speaking. I think that's he'd get it. ready to explode. So, 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 so we've got we've got some lightning round questions. Now we don't know these, so we printed off I don't know like a hundred questions. We'll go through a dozen of them. We don't and these know are the just, questions. And, the, and these are and these are for for everybody. So uh, Kara, you've got Kevin your. I don't I don't know. No, I printed them the other day. Now. Cut them. So, I know. I I don't. I don't know. So, who wants to pull the Who's first question? Remember all of them. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Kevin, pull them. You pull them in and ask them to the people. Uh-oh. Okay. Here. You get the. You get where the. I have no well, idea. Well, where you them over there. So. Okay, oh, no, you, I, I thought you. I thought you were going to pull them or ca- cut them. No, no. Them. I thought you. You're, dude. You're in control, man. I'm not. Ta- I'm not <laughs> taking <laughs> the wheel. Okay. The I learned my lesson okay. a long time ago between our battle of the freaking uh, of of the banners. So okay. So what? What is everyone's favorite drink, or what is their favorite drink? Oh so, God. so we're gonna we're gonna exclude coffee. So uh, we're gonna go every anything else. We'll say we'll say spirits. Well, it doesn't. What, yeah. Someone's favorite drink. You can't all of a sudden. I can alter. dictate it. it. Says drink. Yeah. What's your favorite yeah. drink? He can say what he wants. <laughs> so, so we'll, we'll we'll go we'll go around no, the room. No, it just says drink. So whatever your favorite drink is. We'll start so with Jess. Jess, we'll, Jess, what's your favorite spirit? No, you don't get to start with me because I gotta think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll start. Of course, it would be coffee. But Can't I'd say coffee. Say, Kevin already okay, said that. Well, then if we go alcoholic, I would say sangria. It doesn't have to be alcoholic. Don't let Kevin put guardrails on your answer. <laughs> then uh, Arnold Palmer, it's guardrail, Carrie. Iced tea lemonade. Spirit. But I would actually, if we're going to go alcoholic, then I would say sangria. Okay. Or mimosa. Yeah. I like the fruity drinks. All right. Care? Well, since you put guardrails on me, Kev. <laughs> um, I would have to say my favorite drink would be um, I like scotch, you know. I mean, I, I, I like beer, don't get me wrong, but if it's I do like a good scotch, it's usually a single malt. I'm pretty open and flexible, I'm not a, a scotch snob where I can only have a 12 year McCallum or something. I mean, I'm always adventurous to try something new. So, we, I wish we had the, the anchor guy clip in here. I like scotch, scotch <laughs> exactly. Scotch, scotch. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part, that's me. That's it. So, Chris. Um, I mean, listen, I, I like spirits in general. Bourbon is my go-to. Always thought I'd probably say bourbon. But, you know, I love scotch. I mean, my favorite scotch is that Dalmore, that 12, that cigar malt. Or I love Lagavulin, the 16th. I like the real PD scotches. Um, uh, what else? I mean, I, it's funny because now it's funny you bring this up. Because now that I've been down here, you know, I quickly realized after like the first month or two, like it took about a month, but uh, I quickly realized when I was sitting outside on a Saturday and it was like, you know, 95 degrees, <laughs> humid, I was like, yeah, drinking meat bourbon in 95 degree weather, like midday is probably not going to work out for me too well. So I might have to start like figuring something else out. So what I've been doing now is doing a lot of Kentucky mules. So oh, I'll, I'll do Brazil. bourbon and ginger beer with some lime. But, you know, I, I, I've honestly been getting also a lot of them down here is into fine, like, tequilas. Because um, it's a little lighter. Uh, it's not so heavy. Um, you know, and everything, you know, I mean, you guys know me. I just do meat. I don't, I don't really do mixed drink shit. Yeah. If you're going to give it to me, give it to me in a glass. Meat, whether it's bourbon, scotch, tequila. I mean, I just actually picked this up. And it's really good. I don't know if you guys are into kill, but if you ever heard of this, Mi Familia uh, Flores. No. Oh, no. Nice. Bro, it comes, dude, cool. the top is like a shot glass. It's cool, man. Killer. It's oh, really, cool. really good to kill. So I've been drinking like Pasta Azul and like some of the, 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 the better tequilas um, because uh, I'm noticing that like I could, I could sip on it 
in the heat and it's not like so crazy, you know. So it's not. Yeah. It's not, it's tequila though. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's different, man. It, you know, that's like, so it, funny because that's my answer is tequila, but yeah. uh, Kevin is scared of me on tequila. Yeah, but yeah. I can't drink like this <laughs> tequila. Like I can't drink yeah. Jose Cuervo. No, yeah, no, but, but, I, I, I but, do like but Chris, tequila. even I, sm- I, I've drank the good tequila. I, it tastes good, but it's still tequila. If yeah. I drink enough of it, I'll start swinging. I can't yeah. do it. Like, <laughs> See, I'm like that with rum more. Like when I drink rum, like I, there's like uh, I think the Zapaca or something. There's a couple like really high end rums that I love. Like they taste great. Problem is with rum with me, it just gives me a brutal hangover, man. Like rum gives me a br- so like I don't I don't drink too much rum unless it's in a mixed drink. Um, but I've been doing tequila. Uh, uh, you know, like I said, it's got to be a good tequila. I don't mean to be like bougie. But it's got to be a good tequila. That's what you're paying for. When you yeah, go get the whole yeah. Cuervo, that's where you get the fucking hangover. This nah. good you All take, some sips, you take some sips of the good shit, man. You don't get it. Like, I don't have a hangover when I have two or three of them neat. I don't have a hangover, you know? But that's what you're paying for. It's it's, it's good tequila, you know? Um, so definitely, but definitely if I was going to go with one, I would say bourbon. If I could only choose one, it would be bourbon. Give me a bottle of Old, uh, Old Fitzgerald, and I'm good. That's, that's all I need. Mean. Stephanie, what's your Stephanie? Well, I love a good 19. I'm just kidding. Um, I, I like any white wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the I'm, I'm, Listen, I'm the easiest person in the room to keep happy. Just give me any white wine. I'm fine. I just keep it the cheap stuff, the expensive stuff. I'm not like, I do like the classe azul that he buys, so yeah, so it doesn't let me have a lot of it because it's like really. I I would say I'm the easiest one in the yeah, room. Yeah. I like Bacardi and Diet Coke. That's oh it. God, that used that, to be my favorite. Bacardi and Sprite used to be my signature drink. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but that, that's literally all I drink. I don't ever drink anything else ever. Oh my god. So it's funny. When you come down, we'll get a big thing of Bacardi. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would probably have said moonshine normally, but it's not something I really drink as often as I once did because Kevin has, Kevin is Bacardi and diet. So, I mean, that's all we really ever have in the house. But I do drink a lot of wine. So, so I'll just say all the wine. So, so there, there's a, there's a, there's <laughs> a, there's a, there's a, a like, I like wine. No, I, drink, I drink moonshine yeah. a lot. So, Wait, so here, I was going to say, because I, I got about like 12. Fucking yeah, mason well, jars that. Of, uh, well, I'll, I'll take some. <laughs> so well, it's funny. A friend, I did a favor. I did a favor for one of my friends. I'm not gonna get into it, but I did a favor for him. And like two weeks later, he came back. He's like, "Yo, bro, you big time for that." So he came back with literally a, a, a he was in the Carolinas. He was a southern boy. It's Get, like gasoline. A case. Oh, it's uh, awesome. I'm like, bro, what? Are, this is gonna last me like until the end of time, bro. I'm never gonna go in hell. I'm gonna drink. You know, 12 big mason jars, like oh, straight clear. You might straight have clear. If you drink it's like probably a hundred. Oh, no. Well, you guys, for, you guys forget. I lived in North so, Carolina for so, a really so long here, time. That's how I got in. I fell in love with moonshine. So, so here, here's a. You were using it as hand sanitizer. Yeah. When so, so, I was using it as hand sanitizer. So, so, here, so here's so here's a here's a uh, a moonshine <laughs> Jessica uh, uh, story. So we go up in we go up in North Carolina to see my buddy Butch for the first time. Um, when he moved up there, so um, yeah, so we we were we were up there, and he, you know, uh, like you guys want anything to drink, and he's like, oh, joking around, like I got some moonshine. Jessica's like, I like moonshine, and he's like, no, this is like real moonshine, not like like the shit you yeah, get. Like I've on, had, really. ABC, yeah. he's like, this is literally like it was brewed two houses down, yeah. like in moonshine, the woods. yeah, like when they got in, in, in the yeah. woods. So so, yeah. so he goes gets the uh, uh, the container. I remember smelling it. And I'm like, God, I almost died. So, so Jessica takes a sip and then he's like, be careful with, and then she's like, just drinking it. It's just like, and he's like, looking at me like, she's going to die, you know? And uh, she's just like drinking this moonshine, like, like, like this hundred year old backwoods. And and it was, you impressed Butch that day. Yeah. So it was, uh, I, I definitely come from a family with cast iron stomachs when it comes to some hard liquor. That's the kind of moonshine when you have that paper cup. I remember I was at a place in the yeah, moonshine, and I was drinking something. I handed my paper cup, but he's like, No, yeah, <laughs> I don't want to go through it. no, 
go get, yeah. go, go, go get a coffee mug. Yeah, yeah. something. Yeah, my my one friend Shaney, when she first like came, like, we were like just became friends, and we were like, oh, let's have some drinks, and we were hanging out at my house, and she's like, oh, what do you got? I'm like, I got moonshine, and I'm. She was like, I can't drink this. How do you drink this? Like, she's like, she tells people all the time. She's like, yeah, the first time I ever hung out with Jess, she like only gave me moonshine to drink, and she thought she was gonna die, and I was like, sorry. But yeah, since yeah. I haven't lived in North Carolina in forever, and like. I just we don't get it often. We had a buddy here that was that was making some, but yeah, yeah, I haven't had it in a while, and I don't. You buy it in the store; it's like not the same. You no, know? that's that's the that's the weak that's the weak store. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah, vodka. Yeah, <laughs> but I do, but I do, but I will say I am a huge like I do like wine, but I'll just say all the wines because I'm not picky. <laughs> yeah, so. I like all the wine. All right, so so ne next question, Jess. You pull. You oh, pull, I gotta pull you, a question. You pull one out. All right, here you read them though. Okay. Cheers. This was a big <laughs> one. Um, what is the biggest way? What is the biggest way that your spouse wastes money? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let me count the ways. <laughs> Let me count the ways. I don't even think I can count them. On, well, on here's my credit card, and I can uh, yeah. give me his credit card. Yeah. I can do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> What's the next question, Kev? I think everyone answers it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so 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 that, I, I think they're gonna pass on that one. That's okay, uh, that, that, that's, that, yeah, that, let's pass on that one. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not passing on it. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> Chris will buy every sneaker from back in the day. We will buy five hundred dollars for a pair of sneakers from like fifteen, twenty years ago, like brand new. Like sneakers that I used to see the boys in high school wear, he would he'll buy them off the internet. Brand there, new. there are some shoe Chris guys out there, you. and Chris like, like he's got some uh, an extensive sneaker collection. Yeah, yeah. what size is he? What Run. size you wear, Chris? What? What size, what size are you? Ten and a half, eleven. Ten and a half, eleven. Ten and a half, eleven. Our, our buddy size? Ron. Ten and a half, eleven. That's yeah. shoe yeah. size. Guy, right? You need to talk with Young Joe. He has our son he has an amazing sneaker collection he also does the whole online thing and he wears the same well you know what happened was okay so let me just defend myself here. i'm gonna defend myself here a little bit i don't see anything wrong with it if if that's what you love and you collect it that's, so be it. Right. that's because jen's got a stew fetish all right listen listen Fucking so, museum. I, the, the reason, all right, so the reason i'm worn shoes I, I've, I've always been a jordan 11 that's my favorite sneaker, the Jordan 11 with the patent leather on it. So when I was a kid, I couldn't afford those. You know, when I was, you know, when those came out, I was like 14, 15. You know, I was working, but I couldn't spend $200 on a pair of fucking shoes when I was that age, you know. Um, you know, so now that I'm older and I work hard and I hustle and I'm, you know, at a point in my life where I could afford it, I was like, fuck that. I'm buying them. I don't give a fuck how much they cost. And I'm going to get them in every fucking color. Nothing wrong with that. Good for you. <laughs> so, I couldn't you have afford them, like, them when I was a kid, man. Like, you know? so you can see them? What is it? Do you have them, like, displayed? Do you have a walk-in closet so you can just see Yeah, them? I got a walk-in closet, closet, but they're just in boxes. I'm not joking. Like, do, you, do you visit your sneakers like Jen visits her shoes? <laughs> I do. I actually, like, admire my collection <laughs> and dust them. And hope so one day I wear them. He, he's, he's, so he's got an extensive collection. Don't let him fool you. He's probably got like 20 pairs of like. I've had this sneaker for fucking eight years. <laughs> just saying. What do I waste my money on? You waste your money on fucking nails, hair, <laughs> and anything else. Okay, first of all, my hair is real. I don't get it. No, paid. get it. I'm saying get it. <laughs> you didn't say you're getting Talk about me. getting your hair done. You just nailed. Getting your hair did, Stephanie. <laughs> like, you know. Um, hair well, care. Credit card bill and see how much it costs because it's not as much as I can get my hair and my nails done for as much as it costs for one of your pairs of shoes. <sighs> look at your credit card bill. I don't care. Well, <laughs> it doesn't look at the bill. I don't look because if you're happy and you're not busting my balls, it's really what I fucking care about. So, uh, well, I, I, I will I, I will interject in between the hair and the sneakers. Um, Jen. Uh, you can. You can say it. I well, have no problem with it. I'm proud of the stuff I have. If there's a deal, and it's like, hey, I got this $50 off. I'm like, yeah, we don't need it, but it's $50 off. But um, Starbucks, 
Starbucks. All the coffee <laughs> that we have at home, the eight million different freaking the thousands of dollars that we have invested in the coffee machines in there and the thousands of dollars that we spend on coffee beans. She leaves and goes, I'm gonna hit Starbucks on the way to work. And I'm like, <laughs> I go, Oh my god. What? Carrie, yeah, but Carrie. but Carrie, in her defense, I have to say this. Think about how many cigars we have. Like somebody came to my house and like, bro, I don't, don't you have all these fucking cigars, oh bro. My like, god. Hey, hey, listen, Thank you, everybody's man. got a vice. Every month, let me tell you one thing Marco Polly always said to me. No, no, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to argue you that. Don't have point. A fucking vice, there's something wrong with you. I don't give a shit if it's some people are drugs, some people are alcohol, some people are shoes, some people are strip clubs. Everybody's got a vice. Every fucking vice. Cigars, if price that you like it, there's no price that you won't pay. Big, so big difference. They if, should call it. They should call it. Five bucks, not Starbucks, because you're not getting out there without spending at least five bucks. Five bucks? That's on a cup of coffee. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Um, if, no. if Jennifer starts her own coffee company and can actually make coffee and make money and maybe even break even while still supporting her vice, then God love her, because that's what happens with cigars. I'm just saying. But I don't... Sorry, Kara. I just want to give Stephanie some, you know, like some idea of how many different espresso shots she puts in her coffee. Oh and, no, I'll like, get there. Like it, bi- it builds the price. Yeah. Might have yeah. started at five and ends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jen, Jen's Jen's drinks start at five dollars, and then at the end of it, it's like nine ninety nine. Yeah, but see, see, we got we got we got a little in here, fellas. So there's a, there's, we got a little in. That's because what we can say is. Listen, it's an investment. You know what I'm saying? It's an investment. These cigars are worth thousands of dollars. I could resell them. My sneakers, I could resell them, make my money yeah. back. The shit that she does, it's it, it, it's it your hair is done. You can't okay. resell it. You, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you can, it's okay. not an investment. At least what we spend our money on okay. is an investment. Right, if I drop right. dead tomorrow, I tell her, go take my whole cigar collection and sell it. You know what I'm saying? You can make money. Go take my sneaker collection and sell it. Go, you know. So that's that's the one difference. Well, she can do it for herself. Well, no, that's fine. So Kevin and Jess. <laughs> Get oh, yeah. Go. I, I, yeah. Jess doesn't waste money. And that's not just me. Be, I mean, she doesn't. I mean, there's nothing that she spends money on. No, she repurposes. Ke- Ke- yeah. I do. I do. Upcycle. Upcycle. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. A, I'm a little bit of like all about the earth i'm sorry yeah. i have to i'm just i just care too much yeah. <laughs> you can reuse recycle obviously i'm not gonna buy you know someone else's shoes and underwear and shit but i'm saying like if you can get stuff and like make it new again why not so just as hat used to be a plate yeah yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely but yeah no, you, are, you are very creative though some of the stuff like yeah. like the cards and stuff you send is pretty i mean impressive. don't don't get me wrong like uh, we buy things for the house obviously that cost quite a bit of money especially because we, we you know with the addition that we did a couple <laughs> years ago and now the new edition i mean none of that's like you know used stuff all obviously we spend our money on the things that we feel i guess are you know, worth it. Everything yeah. else is just whatever. But Kevin doesn't really waste money at all money into the house. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, 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 I've like heard that before. <laughs> yeah, I do buy a ridiculous amount of cigars. Yeah, now. but I mean that's something. I mean, but I, a lot I mean, of that's for like business. Too, well, and, and so. a lot of it is like, like, like Chris said, like said, I, I collect tatouages, yeah, like they're going I out guess. of style because I know when I find a good deal. I can flip them for you know eight times the the, the yeah. value in two or three years. So, but Kevin, I, Kevin, yeah. honestly, That's, are you ever going to flip them? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, never. So, so never. Kevin, Kevin, are you are you like Christopher used to be like? This is the last one they're ever going to make, and they're never going to make another one of this one. And we have to, I have to buy it right away. I have to buy this one, like. No, no, no. I'll I'll find a deal, and it'll be like one box of. <laughs> whatever monsters yeah. from like 2013 and it's like like they, they haven't made this in like 10 years like there's no way there's any of these boxes left so oh, I'll buy- the ones. yeah yeah, yeah. so I'll, 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 I'll buy it knowing that i'm never <laughs> going to flip it 
but you know, well, I'll, you I'll have that in the back of my mind. On paper, it's worth a lot. On the on paper, it's worth a lot. <laughs> you're right. not taking those out of my humidor. Right. Well, what the nice thing is, though, is I think a lot of people when they go into a, a cigar lounge and they find like a like a vintage cigar or a hard to find cigar, they'll buy like <laughs> one. Kevin will buy all of it. Oh, oh, yeah. I, like I, he'll buy the every box they have. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, that it, is a, a it, good chunk. It, of it, it's nothing. I said if I, if I find like when I found those vintage room one hundred ones, like yeah. I didn't buy like a box. I spent like twenty two hundred dollars. I bought yeah. every cigar, every box in the entire store. Wow. Just, so, just so nobody else will ever have them. Yeah, but then you so, end up selling some. So I, 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 I have, I have sold a few of them, but ninety nine percent of the collection, I, I smoke, I smoke through. Like the, those yeah. aren't ones that I'm just. You no, know let's all listen, bro. At the end of the day, this is the way I look at it. You know, this is my opinion. Everybody, you know, every like I said, everybody has a vice. There's things that are more important to others. Like some of the things she's spending money on, maybe are stupid to me, but it makes her happy. Some of the things I spend money on. Are stupid to her, but it makes me at the end of the day, you know what, bro? We all work, you're not asking, you're not collecting a government check or asking somebody else to pay for you. So, if that's what yeah. you like and that's what you work your ass off for, you go out there and you spend your money on whatever makes you fucking happy. That's my opinion, man. That's it. Yeah. Right. See, well, it, it, not asking nobody to fit the bill and you're doing it. Well, sometimes he does, yeah. What? Well, now, 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 <laughs> now, now, yeah. now, Chris, you know, I, I have a feeling you're you're you might be kind of like me on this one on, on your shoes. It, it, you know, when you when you buy them, I'm really not that happy. It's the thrill of the hunt. It's yes. the hunt, and it's finding yeah. it. And it's like I have this, and so few people do. Yeah. And then you actually, once you get it, you're like, all right. Then you go look, look for something else because <laughs> yeah. now you have nothing else to. to oh, you're not hunting anything. So man. funny. Just, to me. But you know what? I never Same give shit. them a hard time. I'm like, oh, that's great. You, you give me a hard time. I'm paying for. I, I, I pay for. But I never give you a hard time. Don't you know? Oh, you should have bought that. No, no. She, she, she will make a comment like once she saw all the sneakers come to the house, and then she was like, like four thousand dollars worth of sneakers. She's like, you're getting a little out of control. Don't you think like how many you see? I'm like, no, no, because no, I'm true. a girl. I will go to Ross and buy a five dollar dress, rocket, and look great. Because yeah. I have other accessories that make it look great. You yeah. know? Yeah. But like. I mean, just literally, he, you know what he, he gets on me the most about is how much uh, random stuff I buy for our daughter. That's, yeah, that I, I don't, that I get mad. That I yeah. would have thought, that I would have thought you might have brought up is the fact that we, like, that I spoil Wyatt. Yeah. Like, and my parents, yeah. like, my son, my youngest son, Wyatt, he will only eat saltine goldfish, not cheddar, <laughs> not any saltine, and they're hard to find. And Kevin has actually bought boxes of the, like where it comes oh, ca with, like cases, cases and of cases. them. Uh, and my parents, every time they find them, they bring like twenty bags <laughs> for them and stuff. This kid gets spoiled with yeah. freaking popcorn What's and goldfish thing? and crap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, my issue, listen, man. My issue is, you know, um, she's a good girl, though. No, she's she is a good girl. It. And I, listen, <laughs> I spoil my daughter. I spoil my daughter. He's but my, all right. So this is this is the issue. This is the issue. I do spoil, but this is the issue. When I was a kid, okay, and I went to the fucking store, I never, I didn't leave with something every single time I no. went to the fucking yeah. store. No. I couldn't even ask for a piece of fucking uh, Reese's peanut butter cup. My, God, my, God, father, yeah. my, my father would be like, yeah. did you earn that candy bar? Yeah. What did yeah. you do to earn that candy bar? You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to earn yeah, my yeah. Every fucking yeah, you were spoiled. You know? no. so every time the kid, the store, every time the kid comes home, she got... Something. She said, well, it was only two dollars. I don't give a fuck. It's two dollars <laughs> or two hundred dollars. And he'll go buy her like a five hundred dollar Nintendo Switch. Yeah. And boom. Whatever. So, <laughs> because, because Nintendo <laughs> Switches are badass. <laughs> so, you spoil her. Don't let don't let her I do I spoil her on the occasions. Like listen. Yeah. Same thing, Mike. She saw your Facebook no, no, no. and all the best of everything. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. listen. <laughs> okay, birthdays. Like birthdays. Like birthdays. All right, when I was a fucking bird kid, I, my mother would be like, you got two friends, we're going to McDonald's. Yeah. 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 And you're done. That's it. My wife, it. These fucking kids are like, there's 15 kids there. I got to pay for three hours in the jumpy park for 15 kids. <laughs> birthday I'm party like, is lit. I'm like, bro, lit. this is like, are you, are you kidding me? Like, I don't know. It's just, I, listen, I know it's a different time. Go to the beach for the weekend. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, but like. I mean, I get it. I know it's a different time, but I don't know. My my thing is, is you know, I want 
I don't, I want my, and she does. My daughter's a good girl. She's not yeah. a spoiled little brat because that would be a big problem for me. That doesn't work in my house. But she's a good girl. But my biggest thing is you, you got to appreciate what you have. And if you're not earning everything you have, then you don't appreciate it as much. Well, I also, I also think the you principle. It's not the price. It's right. not the price. But it's you got to look. Two dollar item. It's the principle. It's but the it, principle. but if she's also taking good care of her things, that is being responsible. That is earning it too, though. Because if she's, you know, it's not like she's just like, oh, I got this, and now I don't care about it, and like, you know. She's a very good girl. He's looking at you, Stephanie, so, like... All right. Yeah, we're, we're, we are going to move on with another question. Right, another question. Let me mix <laughs> Pick another one, Kevin. Pick a winner. Yeah. What's your I, favorite color? I, I, yeah. I, 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 sh I shuffled them around. <laughs> all right. Is your spouse a pessimist, an optimist, or a realist? Oh. I can answer that. Go ahead, Jennifer. Yeah, go you're ahead. An optimist. Yeah, go ahead, Jennifer. You take the lead, Jen. I'm an optimist. I think you're an optimist. You always see the good. <laughs> I, love I think her. I'm. A, I think I'm more of a realist. I think I'm a realist. No, you're a pessimist. <laughs> I love her. I think I'm a realist. No. I call it like it is. No. No, but I gotta say, Carrie. I gotta say, I I, I, I know we only know each other what like probably three years now. Yeah, I met you in 19, so I know you three three years now, four almost four. Every time I've hung out with you, you have such positive vibes. Yeah. Well, See, in my opinion, I, I agree. you're a very optimistic person. Yeah, you're, you're always positive, bro. From when I met, you always got <laughs> positive vibes. You're ne never negative. You're never mean or nasty or like you're just always. Yeah. And from when I from when I've hung out with you, and, no, I appreciate that. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Yeah. I, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna dissent and say care is a realist. Without Thank you, a Kev. doubt, really, without, really? without a doubt, care yeah. is a realist. You could be, a, see, you could, you could be a realist to still be positive about things. Yeah, you know what okay. I mean. It's and I think I, I think, think to Trump. So anyway, I think I have, I think I have realistic expectations and realistic goals of things. I don't, I don't have unrealistic expectations of people. And the reason why I seem so positive is because when someone's a shithead. Or someone lets you down, I'm never negative or surprised by it because my expectations are in line with their well, with their. Then with I what can they be do. a realist and just I'm realistic that people are assholes. Yes, so it's that, it works the same that, way. That, that is a very pessimistic, realistic way. <laughs> yeah. You a are realistically way. a pessimist. I'm realistically <laughs> saying I think they're I think they're shit. So yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. This is great. I agree. So okay. Jessica is definitely a pessimist. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, I'm an optimist. He'll tell you, like, I'm like sunshine and rainbows. I love everybody and I see the best in everybody and everything's great and wonderful. But I always gravitate towards the pessimist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know I am. I'm okay with that. Kevin's definitely a, a realist. I, I mean, obviously. <laughs> I mean, we all know Kevin very well. Uh, but yes, yeah, you know I, what it is, and see, Jen's the same way. It's the jersey yeah. in you, bro. It, it must yeah, be. Yeah. It, it has you, to be. You, you know why? Because we're used to up there where a lot of people you can't fucking trust. There's a lot of people no. that say what they're gonna do, they don't fucking do it. Unreliable. Yeah. yeah. So, so, see, look, now you're saying yes. yes Good yes. morning. Good morning, I man. What the fuck's that guy want? Oh. Yeah, I don't trust him. <laughs> well, like when I first him. moved to Florida and I went to a Publix and they were trying to bag my stuff, I was like, "Get the hell off my stuff!" I was like, "What are you doing?" They're like, "Oh, we bring it to your, we bring it to your car." I was like, "Nobody's coming to my car." Like, yeah, that that happened to me in the Carolinas. My car. What the hell is wrong with that? Happened to me in the Carolinas when I was first in the Carolinas and I get down there and I got to like the, uh, you know, the register. You know, listen, you know, where we're from, we're like, yo, all right, nobody's talking. Like, let's fucking yeah. move. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I get down there, I'm down in, in the Carolinas, and I walk up, and I'm bringing my stuff. And, you know, we're ready to pay. And then lady, after she checks it, she says, how are you doing today, sir? Is there anything I can help you with? Did you find everything that you need? Yeah. I looked at her. I looked at some. I'm like, is there something fucking wrong? Like, what? what yeah. You know? <laughs> This woman, like, serious? I thought she was fucking around with me, but she was serious. And I was like, totally. 13 years of being down here, I don't yeah. want chit chat at when I'm checking yeah. out. Or they like to read your items. Just scan them, please. Yeah, but not for nothing, Jen. Not for nothing, Jen. They do that. And I, that was one thing that drove me nuts in the Carolinas and the gas stations and shit. Because I'm used to going to the bodega where I'm fucking in and out. I'll get my bacon. Oh, and yeah. Chicken. 
my my coffee, and I'll be out in like ten minutes. Okay, this shit down here, I go in there. They talk. They talk. How? Hey, Marge. How's Jerry yeah. doing? How was yeah. the fucking? How was? How was the? How was his? You know, his thyroid surgery or that? And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, just shut the fuck up. Let's go. Come on, I got somewhere oh, to go. Awesome. And they'll oh. sit online and talk for like ten fucking minutes, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. like that threw me off too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when I moved to New York, people were like, is this chick for real? Because I'm like so happy all the time. And I'm like, you know, I love everybody. Hey, I really think, like, how's your day? Like, you know, like I just, I'm, that's just who I am. And, but I always gravitate towards like your friends, the wives that were from like Westchester that were like kind of like more uppity, I didn't get along with, but like the ones that were like from the hood, like from the Bronx. She gets more, I she gets along them. more. I always get along better with the meaner women. <laughs> then I do it like the ones that are like me, because it's like I don't, it's like you know, you know, like, no, well, like, she, like a tough, like a tougher exterior kind of is yeah, what you're like. Yeah, because when they're that cheerful and happy all the time, you think yeah. something's wrong. No, like it just can't. I yeah. just don't know how to be that way, and I do like I gravitate. I think towards people like I gravitate. Kevin's usually very like upbeat and happy and sometimes it does annoy me because i'm like ugh <laughs> like don't you ever just like want to like, sit in bed and, like eat, with her, and, and eat like yeah. a bucket of ice cream and just feel sorry for yourself and he's like no never and i'm like you you're a weird person no yeah, man that's just the realist yeah. that that's him being a realist it's like listen i woke up this morning i'm on this side of the earth yeah yeah you know yes life is hard things suck this is going on that's going on but I'm alive, and I just have an opportunity just to keep well, moving forward. Good for with it. you, care. Yeah, I, I, I remember. I don't have the fucking pom poms, yeah. Jess. I'm just saying. I remember er, earlier. Uh, yeah, er, er, like early on when, when Jess and I are, are dating, she's she's trying to have an argument with me. I want sometimes and, 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 I'm and, like... and, and, a, and a fight, and then uh, and then I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I understand. I see it that way. And she's like, no, will you fucking argue with yeah. me? And I'm like. No, 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 I see your point. Like, or like, yeah. Jen, oh. yes, that's me to a T. This time, I, I, I just get in a mood where I'm looking. Yeah. I'm looking I, I want blood, bro. I, I need, <laughs> I need blood. You know, yeah, like, right. so I need to fight. I you, so much. you know, and I'm like, will you just fucking stop being so nice and argue? Yeah. Like, I want to. <laughs> but she won't argue. She cries. She'll go cry. Oh, like, right. That's Kevin. That's Help, that's Chris. Kevin. What are you gonna cry I for? Cry, Chris. Now, now you come from my kid, and I will cut your head off. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. if I really think you're coming from a man, watch out. Ah, good for you. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm a lover, not a fighter. And so, like, if he's upset, I'm just like, I love you. Like, well, you like when I, when, I, when, I, when I first when I first <laughs> met her, no shit. When I first met her, like, listen, my whole life, like, I've been with Italian girls, New York girls, like, you know, they're a little rougher, you know. Yeah. And she's like so nice. And in the beginning, when I met her, I honestly thought there was something. I'm not. I'm not being disrespectful. <laughs> I thought there was something wrong. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, bro, there's no way you could be this happy all the time. It's is not she, is, is she medicated? You're like, like that's what I thought. That's what I thought there was something wrong. Yeah. So I was like, there's no way. And that, there's no way somebody could be this happy and this nice. It's not possible. And and, 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 and want to be with me. I like yeah. that's like like you're that happy and that nice and you want to be with me. Like something's, oh my something's God. Like, what's your angle? I, I, yeah. I, I, I always like relate, I think, a little bit to the Eeyore character, kind of like, yeah. you know, like Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> oh my God. All right, Jen. Uh, uh, all right, just, all right, uh, all right. One. Pick another one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let this be a, a good, good one. <laughs> good one. Oh, that one's long. Yeah. Your spouse has the day off and an empty house. How does your spouse spend the day? Oh, Gary, no, I'm going to spend the day. <laughs> oh, shit. That's How is she spending the day, Chris? She's going to be either at the spa or at her nails or... Oh, that's not what I was looking for. What? <laughs> home? If I'm home, what am I doing? Oh, 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 home. Okay. Oh, if she's home, if she's home, she's watching SUV. Nice. SUV. SBU, SBU, SBU. 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 So, she's watching car commercials. SBU. She is. This woman has watched every Law episode Order, SBU. of Law and Order SBU. So like probably I am, I am hyper vigilant. You're not getting my ass. I, I will know the great day. series. You got iced tea and crackerloni in it. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the special, vic the special victims one? 
Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. That one's the best. Oh, it's absolutely. I'll, I'll the best. watch, I'll yeah, watch it. Even though I've seen that 10 times, I'll watch it again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Me, I, I agree with that. It's awesome. But then oh. she thinks he's like an investigator because then she'll be like, yes. like, you want somebody found? Like this, like call her. Like call her. <laughs> everything about somebody. In about 30 minutes. It's, 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 it's insane. insane. You need to know. And she's like, like, She's like, did you lock the door? Did you lock it? And yeah. I'm like, bro, like, uh, we don't live in the fucking hood, okay? Like, <laughs> <laughs> they, they go to the nice area. That's so okay. You, you, know, you know, know, it's a it's a good thing you guys didn't live down here when that uh, girl Gabby Petito when they were looking for her husband and everything else, because because uh, Steph would have been down here with Dog the Bounty Hunter like beside him, like, okay, we got this, we yeah. got we got this, yeah. She's stick with it, man. She's stick with it. Oh uh, Steph, what, what is what? What is Chris doing on a, on a on a day off, empty house? Kevin, do I really need to answer that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sit on cigars. Yeah. In the pool now. What in the pool? In yeah. the pool. Oh, I, I sometimes I'll look at the back. He won't answer his phone, and I'm like, let me just look at the back camera. He's in the pool. <laughs> look at his <laughs> That's awesome. Life. Best life. Or watching the Yankee game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, care. What what's Jen doing? I thought you and Jess were going to go next. <clears throat> um, Empty know. house. No one home. I know what I'd be doing. Sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be <laughs> napping big time. I'd make myself a good cup of coffee. <laughs> sleeping. I'd go on the couch. And I'd be sleeping. Sleep. I'd be a big Wait, bang theory on because I'd fall asleep. After you drink coffee? Oh, yeah. yeah I, I can drink sleep, coffee morning. She'd sleep, morning, she'd sleep in, in wake up, go grab some coffee, make it, drink it. Get on an iPad, then get on the couch, take a nap, nah, yep. and then wake up, go make more coffee, and then get on our iPad, and then take a nap. Yeah, oh, and then get ready for bed. Game over. Yeah. 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 What, would, what would Care be doing, Jen? Probably cigars, um, maybe FaceTiming Kevin, doing <laughs> some sort of, or Daryl. You guys would be doing some sort of live or buddy chat. On day off? Day off, yeah. There's nothing, nothing going on. Nothing going on yeah. gives you time to do cigar chats with your smoker friends. So maybe some video games. I just want to point out that I almost smoked the whole. Look cigar. at you! Oh, look at that! I almost so nice. Wonder yeah. if I get a red cannoli, but I almost smoked the whole cigar. Oh, right, very right good. On. Kevin, so what Je would I be doing? Jess would be watching. And I learned how to retro hail from this guy um, that Christopher knows. You guys probably know him. Brian Matola made like a video. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Cover your mouth and you can retro hell. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Brian Brian's a great guy from Cavalier Cigars. Yeah. I never so. met him, but he seems like a cool dude. Oh, he super, is. super cool. Yeah. He is your he is your grandfather for sure. Everybody's is, granddad. Why why are you trying to make him old? He, well, Brian is old. <laughs> yeah, but he's, yeah, not, yeah. he's not that old. Watch, watch, yeah, he's old. Here we go. watch ready? Ready? Oh god. I love it. Talking about Ryan. Oh, I Hello. love Brian. That's like he's like a brother. He's like a brother. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's a great. Awesome. He's, 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 I gotta say, shout out to Brian Matola with Cavalier now and, and Sebastian. Yeah. With Sebastian too, man. Yeah. Uh, Brian, Brian's been like, honestly, man, like I missed him with Illusione because you know he he helped us a lot too, man. But he's always had our back, man. I love Brian Matola. He's he's one of the most stand up guys in this industry. <laughs> oh, oh, he he he, yeah, he absolutely he'll do anything for for anybody. We we I had a a customer overseas that had wanted a really large order from me for cigar prop, and um uh, we just couldn't get the stupid payment system to work yeah. because it's wire transfer everything when you go from like Sweden over here, and then uh so Brian just calls me up and's like hey here's my credit card number put it on my credit card mm -hmm. I'll I'll fig I'll figure that's a buddy of mine that's Brian. I'll, 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 I'll figure it out at the end of the day. And just and just luckily, send him his stuff. Luckily, like, you know, it all worked out. But then ever since then, we've shipped stuff quite a few times. Oh, now, yeah. Which yeah. Is Bri awesome. Brian, will, Brian, will Brian do. yeah. It's he'll, just he'll a great Brian is the type of guy where if he's your friend, he'll give you the shirt off his back. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, that, and that's, and those, you know, those are the type of friends I like to surround myself with. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. I like to think I'm the same way, man. If, you know, if, if you're in my corner, bro, I'll, I'll go to back to you to the end, man. No matter what it is, you know, yes, sir. he's the guy, you know, who Brian is Brian's the guy you, ever, you guys ever see the, the movie, the town, mm -hmm. you know the, movie, the town with Ben Affleck, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. where he walks and goes, 
we're gonna go hurt some people. Don't ask yeah. me any questions. You never asked me about it. And all these, and all the other guys are like, all right, let's go. Where are we going? Yeah. That's Brian Cola, bro. Yeah, I, I love, I love Brian. He's a good dude. I can't say enough about him. He, he's, he's helped us tremendously behind the scenes as far as you know, always being, uh, you know, trying to give us uh, contacts and you know, you should talk to this guy. You should, you know, he's always, he's always went to bat for us. So. You know, Brian's listening. I love you, buddy. You're awesome. I'll see you soon. Now that I'm living in Miami, he's, he's been hanging out in Honduras, man. He's got a new uh, uh now. So he ain't he ain't coming home. He ain't coming home. He ain't coming he, home. He, he <laughs> is not. He's got a retro hell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but but so so on the question, Jessica would be laying in bed listening to some story about how some woman killed her husband and got away with it. That's she, not true. You yeah. love those. You love those those murder type. Yeah. Well, I do, but yeah, yeah. I, I would literally be yeah. sitting on the bed or on the couch with the dogs, binge watching the shit out of something on on Netflix. Yeah, like that's my thing. Like yeah. I would cow woman killed her thoughts. husband, got away with it. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do watch a lot of those true. My sister things. watches yeah. those. Yeah, I can't help myself. These documentaries and stuff, like the psychology of of it all, like is what. But but, then, but but then, I'm terrified. Like I yeah. hate hor- like I hate that stuff because I don't. I'm always telling Kevin. I'm like, this is the shit of my nightmares. Like when we watch that real stuff, because I'm like, now I'm sitting here thinking like, this is what's going to happen to us. Like we're going to be asleep, and there's going to be people who <laughs> yeah, break I in, and so gonna, like I get <laughs> like. I but but, but she'll awkward. but she'll go from that, <laughs> and then she'll jump into a, a marathon of Doctor Pimple Popper. Oh, and yeah. watch, and watch, yeah. oh, oh my god, yeah. I can't watch that. Yeah. Yo, you're one of the weird there. motherfuckers who watch that shit, really? No, no I, I don't. don't. I come I... on, and I'm like, who watches this? this I, do. I do. I do too. I cannot oh. help myself. Uh, love I love it. Uh, I've been Give watching the oh. ear guy lately, oh, digging oh, wax out of ears. Come on, Jack. I can't even watch the commercials. So, so, so. So, fun fact on Dr. Pimple Popper for us guys that don't like that. You know who we have to blame for that show? Who? Kim Kardashian. Seinfeld. Kim Kardashian. Why? Why? Because Dr. Pimple Popper was originally on Instagram just doing videos like nobody knew her. And she kept having her account flagged and being banned. Kim Kardashian talked to, loved watching her, talked to the people at Instagram like, no, no, you got to you stop banning her. Like, she, I love this. So they started Instagram started promoting her, and then that's how she got a show. Kim Kardashian is who we have really? to blame for Dr. Pimple Popper. Right. I thought it was Seinfeld because yeah. that's what he called the dermatologist yeah. when he was dating her. He called her Dr. Uh, Pimple I Popper. I can't even see the come. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I, I can't love, watch I love, it. I love horror films. I could watch blood, yeah. gore, horror films, cut in head. I, that doesn't even bother me. I, I, yeah. I, I love horror films. But that shit, the no, I, I can't watch it, bro. It's 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 disgusting. Kibas. Oh God, so bro, I can't even You know what's that. funny oh, about God. that is it, when I was when I was in high school, a buddy of mine, Tom Dittmer, used to love popping zits. Oh, uh, and he used to go in the locker room and want to pop people's zits on their back. And oh, he used to tell people, now this is back in 1988, 87, that he wanted to start his own business and call it Dits Zits and Massage Parlor, so he can actually you pay him to pop your, your pimples. And then you'll get a massage. Oh God, that's so cool. <laughs> and here it is. Oh, how many years God. later? It's a freaking show. On it was this guy. I can't. I'm like you, Chris. I can't watch that shit. I, I can, can watch, watch it. Dude. I can. Anything else? It's- I can watch blood and gore. I can <laughs> yeah. watch yeah, yeah, yeah. videos where they sever somebody's head oh, off. Yeah. Yeah. Watch, that, that shit doesn't bother me. But yeah. as soon as you show me, like Doctor Pimple Popper or uh, <laughs> the, the the miracle of life. Or yeah. some shit like that. I'm done, bro. I can't yeah. fuck with no. it. Man. That's it. I can't fuck with it. I oh my god. god. He saw everything. He saw yeah. All my he was like. Uh, I was. I remember. I was in there. The doctor and the doctor was like, "Excuse me, you know, there's gonna be a lot of blood. Yeah. I don't want you passing out." I'm like, "I'm He's good. Like, don't worry." Whoa. So, so like, I'm in there, and all of a sudden, like. They cut her stomach open and like they're lifting her guts out and shit. I'm yeah. like, this is it's like anatomy awesome. class. I'm like, this is <laughs> awesome, bro. And the doctor's like, excuse me, Mr. Monaco, stay behind the curtain. I don't want to. Yeah. I'm like, no, doc. I'm like, I'm good, bro. This is fucking awesome, man. I was like, if it came out the other end, I would have had a fucking problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's but funny. I got hey, hey Jessica. Yes. 
what's Kevin doing on his day off? Nothing to do. Empty house. Well, there could be a couple of different answers, but the one I was going to say too is definitely taking a nap. Definitely. Oh yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I'm, an, I'm, yeah, I'm but, a nap guy. But can I say yeah. what you do privately? I mean, I don't know. Oh boy! Oh, boy. Oh, here we what go. Do you, what do you got? Watch a camera? No. Yeah, yeah. Send me a video. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, Kevin totally will be like buck naked. Oh yes, yeah, and he will. <laughs> Send me video. Oh yeah, like he sets a camera up and then he's just talking. He's like, "That's his hey, only fans camera." I, I I I spent I spent an hour the yeah. other day send, of send just me. setting different cameras up <laughs> in different movements, and then I put them in my computer and I have these great cuts. And uh, it was yeah. uh, I will say it's it was nude. It was nude? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. But You're like, nude? but it's not like Kevin's shy because we've seen a lot of those videos. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. My and neighbors his strings and his tights. Yeah, and all I know. That. My anyway, poor, so. my poor, our poor neighbors behind us because he doesn't close. He won't close the the curtain to the slider. Like he's like whatever. I don't give a shit. It's my house. Like if they want to keep being creepers and stare. <laughs> yeah. But it's right. not. It's That's not right. often yeah. that he ever gets to do that. Like, yeah. Because it, obviously it's the, the artistic side of me. <laughs> Um, so. <laughs> so when he does get to be home by himself, he's like free yeah. as a bird. <laughs> yeah, napping. I can't nap. I'm not a napper. Uh, I can. I can. Nap. I cannot nap at nap all. Either. Yeah, I don't really nap, man. I, nope. I, I don't sleep that much, man. I get maybe four hours, maybe yeah. five hours a night. That's that's it. If I'm lucky. Yeah. I'm because I wake up early. I'm doing a nine to five, and then by the time I come home, I'm trying to catch up with cigar shit, trying to do the dad shit, trying to. I, I don't have time to, and then my brain, like my issue is my brain, it won't turn off. Yeah. So like if I sit in bed too early, <laughs> even if I try to get in bed early, right? Like I'll get in bed early and I'll go to sleep tonight, right? And like say nine o'clock, I'll try to get in bed and then I'll sit there till one in the morning with my fucking eyes open, like, because my brain, like I'm like, I got to call this person. Holy shit. I forgot to do that today. I forgot to do So like that's sometimes for me, it's just that my mind, like yeah. I can't turn my brain off. Like, you yeah. know, so. Can I a question? Show of hands, does your does your husband snore? No. No. I snore oh too, God. so. I don't snore that way. No. Uh, don't, 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 don't listen to her. Yes, I got recording. <laughs> Joe snores. <laughs> <laughs> snores. I, I have snore. a house of snores. She snores and she wakes herself up and then she yells at me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She snores so That's loud. loud. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, I, I got to tell you, Chris, <laughs> last, uh, last week, I, I I did something my back and I had a really freaking tweaked upper back, real bad freaking uh, knot in it. So I'm like, I can't sleep in the bed. So I slept in my son Wyatt's bed last week for how many days? I, probably four or, four, five days. four or five days. Best freaking nights of sleep I've had in <laughs> years. I Jennifer is the most violent freaking sleeper I've ever met. <laughs> Like, first of all, she'll come, awesome. she'll, she'll come to bed, right? She'll come to bed, and she'll just yank the freaking covers. <laughs> so then I'm, like, sitting there with no covers on me, like, what the fuck? Like, what? Seriously? And she'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. And then she'll go, like, dish them off to me. Like, she's, you know, like, I'm like, geez, thanks, honey. So then when I get them, and then she's out cold snoring. And then I'm watching yeah. TV. And then she'll roll over and just, like, boom. Like you elbow me. Who, see who steals the covers in our bed? This guy. Oh, look at that face. Luca. So yeah, I, I'm always fighting for my life in bed, either for covers or for room. So I slept in wise, but I slept for a week. I was like, man, this is. I don't know, honey. I I, I think my back hurts again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, All right, listen. Got one, my, it's one not, it's, so so so, she does she does the same. She'll get out of my room and go in my daughter's room, and I'm not gonna lie. Like she's like, you don't even want me to come in. I'm like, no, I miss you, but you know. There's only one time when you want me to come in, and when it's done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have to make my looks for me for two reasons. Even if I'm out of the house, if I'm gone all day, if he's calling me, he wants two things. One, yeah. you know, and the other one is food. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. It's funny. Uh, all right, and, this, and you know what she does? You know what she does too, which is the weirdest thing. This is this is how cork my, like she's very quirky. I, I love quirky. her. I very quirky, right? Okay. So, so oh, I love it. I love it. But I'm just saying, you're quirky. 
So, like, like normal people, normal people, like your bed. All right, I want to ask that. On your bed, right, you have a comforter oh. and you have a sheet, right? That's what yeah. most, right, comforter and sheet, right? Most times, yeah. Okay. My wife in Florida, in Flo and she's been doing this since I met her. In New York, it wasn't as bad, but in Florida, it's even worse. I love you. Two comforters. And oh. No, because Two. I want a down comforter. Let me so I have a comforter, comforter, and then she puts a down, down, a fucking down comforter in fucking Florida. Nice. Okay. Like a it. down I comforter, know. and then the sheet. And then she's like, <laughs> then she's like, I'm fucking hot. Yeah, Let's put the AC down to 67. I'm like, well, because you've got two fucking comforters on the yeah. like, What do you think? A down comforter uh, in Florida, and then she wants to put the AC to like 65. Oh my God. You know? that's funny. So, oh, oh my uh, God! All right, well, one one final question in the on the and the the, the 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 lightning round. If your spouse had to choose an actor to play themselves in a movie, who would they choose? What was that? Wait, wait, say that again. So if oh, your I know for him. I know if your spouse had wait a minute, oh what, what was that? Uh, if your spouse had to choose an actor to play themselves in a movie, who would they choose? So who who's gonna play Stephanie in a movie? There you go. Oh, he boy. basically just he yeah. so we off him. You don't know who I would choose. I know who I would choose for you. Um, that's a tough one. I don't know who he would choose, but I know who I would choose for him because everybody tells him that they remind him of him. Who? Who are you talking about? Jo Joe Pesci. Richard Grieco. Richard Grieco. Oh, there you go. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. I I can see him, Richard Grieco. It wasn't Richard Grieco. It was the guy from Karate Kid. His name that fucking Ralph Macchio, Ralph Macchio, no. yeah, that guy. No, yeah, like you know who they say he looks like, though. You know who they say he looks like? Who? <laughs> what? I finished Sheldon. Who? What? If my husband were another nationality, he would look like Jim Jones. I don't look like Jim Jones. Get the fuck out of here. Jim Jones? What? I look like fucking Jim Jones. Jim no, Jones, get the Kool Aid out. Oh Jones? my God! So so so, uh, uh, Chris, who, who's gonna play Stephanie in a movie? Oh God, uh, that's a tough one, man. Oh, I'm trying to think. I, you're one of a kind, darling. You know, there's, 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 there's not there's not a lot of people like you. Uh, I don't know. That's yeah, tough. And <laughs> ended on a good note, Chris. Good job. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Okay, do another question. Do another no, no, no. Go, come back. Can we come back to me on that one? I need to think. Uh, yeah, all right. Jess, Jess, who's playing Kevin? I don't know. <laughs> wow, that's a great wow. question. That is that's... hard. I don't know many people that really look like Kevin. So who would play Kevin? Oh, they don't I don't know. Like One, him, well, oh, it doesn't? Then Johnny Depp. <laughs> Because yeah. oh. I, I love. Johnny. I know that's what I know. That's what that's you fine. want. Right. Well, that's the question. No, the question is, who would they that your spouse want? So, who would you want to play you? Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> See, that's, what I'm saying. that's a tough question, man. Yeah, that was. A, we should choose another question. I, a, I, okay. I, I, question, question I think what's his face? Who, who uh, would you have chose for me? Who's, I think I think Kevin. I think Jared Leto would do a good Jared Kevin. Jared Leto would be a yeah, good oh, yeah, Jared yeah, Leto yeah. Would be yeah. Probably. I love Jared Leto too. Yeah. You're right there. Good job, Care. I think Jared yeah. Leto would do a good a good yeah. good Kev. Yeah. All right. What about me? I can't remember her name. Mini Driver. Uh, Mini Driver. Um, I remember. I remember. I remember in high school there there was that that TV show and there, like that that. New York woman that spoke with a really loud voice. Brand Drescher. Brand Drescher. Yeah, yeah, the nanny, the nanny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her I don't, I, don't, I don't know that. You're a fucking <laughs> asshole. You oh, yeah. just got in you trouble, bro. That was Remy. not good. Yeah, and you gave Leah me the Remy's. world's yeah. most yeah. 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 Okay, I will yes. say. No, Kevin yes. doesn't get to pick I will say Amber Heard then if I'm Johnny Depp. Jess, I would pick Jennifer Conley for you. Who the hell I is that? that? Jennifer Connelly. <laughs> I can see that. You don't know who Jennifer Connelly is? No, Google why would I know? Yeah, Thank she's you. She, uh, she's been. What has she a, been in? Oh my gosh, she was she's just in a new Top, Top Gun, Gun movie with Maverick. She's been in uh, House of uh, Fog and Sand. She was in um, um, Requiem to a Dream. 
Um, she's been a lot of stuff. Yeah. She's a great actress. No, I've been told my whole life that I look like Alanis Morissette or Mini Driver. Oh, I can see Alanis Morissette. I used to mm -hmm. love Alanis Morissette. See, if we're going just off the look. Oh, I like, oh, that's the chick that we watched from that show, Snowpiercer. Yeah. yeah, but are you going just off the of looks or off of personality? I think I think I think a little bit of looks, but someone yeah. who could, someone who could personify their personality too. Because <laughs> Jennifer is, Conley is very good. Yeah. Everything that we've asked tonight, this is the question that's gonna that's gonna turn this into. Okay, a well, show. okay. So <laughs> if I was gonna go back to my wife, honestly, and this is what I thought when I met her, and I can't stand her as a person, mm -hmm. so I would never. But but I had black but, hair. But, but yeah, with your black hair, I I I always said she she reminded me of Katy Perry. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. But I had jet black hair and I had wore blue contacts. Oh, yes. nice. So, All right. But All right. That's yeah. looks there you wise, go. not personality wise. K Karen Jen? Uh, Leah Remy. Yeah. Leah Remy. We talked about that before. Yeah. Oh, oh she's awesome. That. I love I can that. I love that. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's awesome too. I like Leah Remy. For see, you, I would have thought it Morgan, was. Morgan Freeman. Well, yeah, it would either have to be Christopher Walken or Morgan Freeman. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's not based on looks. Morgan Freeman, I would just love to see. see I that thought happen. we were basing it off a of look. But no, well, no, well, I mean, it would have to be off a of look. Or Christopher if... Walker would be freaking awesome. Carrie, you're the white Morgan Freeman. Can you narrate my life? Yeah, narrate my life. <laughs> you just got to get the voice. Chris Monaco, <laughs> very peaceful man. <laughs> Everyone like... says he looks like Richard Grieco. I don't see it. <laughs> He likes no, the other one? John Stamos. Ron he, 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 Stamos. I can see that. There you go. <laughs> There's Kevin looking at Chris, thinking he's got a full house. He's got to be John Stamos. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a pretty good Morgan. Morgan. It is yeah. really good. Oh, 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 it, oh, it is. So, all right. That was the last of the uh, of the lightning round questions. We're going to bring this back a little bit. We're going to. It is a cigar show, so we definitely want to talk about cigars. Um, obviously, uh, uh, Chris uh, with the Amendola family cigars. Um, Care, I know there's. I know you had a a, a question uh, uh, lined up. I did. That's what it says in my show notes. <laughs> so take it away. I, I don't. I don't recall those show notes to me having a question. But yeah, I don't see that either. The question was. Yeah, you had actually, actually. Actually, well, is there? But no. I, I. You had a question for Stephanie. He already. I thought he already asked. No, that. he did not. Well. I guess Excuse me. is was there a big um, change? I guess you know because when you met Chris, when and, and I know Chris, you know for a couple of years, and and I know that when we first met Chris, you, you when you and I first met, you know you and Jeffrey had met, you really started getting involved, and and I know that you've been able to help and uh, take Amendola, you know, family cigars to the next level. Um, I mean, you guys have done a great job. Thanks, so uh, no, man. I, you know how I feel about you and and and, and your, your impact on, on that company and organization. Um, I wanted to ask Stephanie when 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 you're you know what when you're met Chris and you know you're kind of living along your lifestyle, and then Chris starts getting his cigars and then he gets into the Amendola family cigars and then really starts taking off. Did you have to make any adjustments with him? taking on that role and being such an integral part of Amendola Family Cigars? So, when we first started dating, after we got pregnant, which was very quick after we started dating, um, he started going to the cigar lounge in New York. And my husband is the kind of man that needs an outlet. So honestly, the cigar business has been the best thing for our marriage because it gives, like, we're smoking in his office right now. It's We're pumping like he's supposed to be smoking in here. And he smokes inside the house. But that if that's the worst thing he does, then, you know, I'm doing pretty okay, right? So with Chris, it's that his brain never stops going. So he's constantly, like you said, up at night thinking of ideas. He's super creative, like way more creative than I could ever be. And so he's always thinking of ideas. He's up all hours of the night, writing stuff down, thinking of ideas and stuff. So, I mean, honestly, nothing really like changed. I mean, he still smokes a shit ton of cigars. <laughs> 
And if that's the worst thing he does, like, it's really not. I that think bad. the adjustment for her more go was, and, and you tell me if okay, I'm, go I'm, ahead. I'm wrong. Go ahead. I think the adjustment for her was um, not have me all to herself all the time. I think that was the biggest adjustment. I think in the beginning, you know, she thought it was just like, she didn't, I, I thought, I think in the beginning, she thought it was something that I was kind of pulling out of my ass to use an excuse like, oh, you know, I, I got business, I'm going to Vegas or I'm going. So I think in the beginning, I thought it was something, I think in the beginning, it was something more, she thought that was like me using it as an excuse to kind of like get away or get out of town or kind of get some free time with the boys and stuff like that. And I think after the first year and once she started seeing like some of the moves I was trying to make and take, you know, take the company, you know, especially like when we started picking up some of the bigger retailers in Atlantic and I got us in Bravada and JR. And I think she started seeing like this was a real business. Right. And yeah. Like, 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 like she saw how much I put into it. And that, like, I would be up till one, two in the morning and, you know, like, and she would come down after sleeping and be like, what are you still doing up? Like, I think she, I think that worry of like, oh, he's just doing this to kind of be free and get out. And, and, and like, I think once she started seeing it was real and started seeing all oh, social media and we were starting to, you know, listen, we have a long way to go. We're a very, we're still a very small company. We're the low man on the totem pole. Uh, you know, I try to stay grounded every day. I think, you know, I always think that we're starting from, from, from the starting line. I don't, I don't, I don't ever, you know, take back. I don't ever like to really sit back and like smell the roses and be like, man, you know, people are like, well, look in four years, look what, you know, since you got linked up with Jeff, like, look where you guys have taken that just in four years and how far, and in my opinion, I don't, I, that means nothing to me. It, it's where are we today? You know? Right. And, um, you know, that's great. And, you know, you know, I mean, listen, and the other thing is people just love to love that attention. And I think sometimes that gets to people's heads. Um, at the end of the day, man, you know, we got a long way to go. We're nowhere near where we need to be. We appreciate the people like you guys, both of you, all of you um, that have supported, you know, us and, and uh, since day one, it gives us your platform uh, to even care about what I have to say or, you know, what my company's doing. But in the long and short, I think, you know, that was the major, for her, that was the major adjustment was in the beginning. She just wasn't used to not having my full attention because before that, I was in a band. So, I mean, yeah. you know, like, and that, my attention was always on that. So I always need something to, like she said, kind of have an outlet. And in the beginning, I think she thought it was more of like something that I was just kind of pulling out of my ass to get out of the house. <laughs> and then once she started seeing that it was real right. and I was really making real moves and talking to real people in the industry... Um, then I think she started to realize, like, holy shit, like, he's not fucking around. Like, he's really yeah. trying. To I, can re I can totally um, relate to that because I felt that <laughs> uh, all the time in the beginning with Kevin, even though I smoked cigars, but when Kevin really kind of started, like, doing the like, cigar prop and stuff, I was like, is this, like, a, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you know, like, <laughs> we used to do all kinds of stuff, and now he's in the garage 24-7. Like, he, like, literally eat lived and breathed like you know we both worked full-time jobs and then you know and then but he also like included me in, t in it a little bit which was nice but honest to be honest there wasn't much I could do in the beginning you know but besides help like packaging stuff but like I did feel that way like a lot of times when he would go to some events and stuff I'd be like is he just doing that because he doesn't want to like spend any time or you know like why is this consuming yeah. but then I, I i didn't see his vision at first you, you, you started know? to see the bigger picture and that's yeah like and i started yeah. telling her i'm like listen this is something so i don't have to work a nine to five job one day yeah. i could do what i love to do yeah. and like enjoy what i'm doing and not have to wake up every day and go do yeah. something that at this point i mean listen i used to love elevators it was a challenge like it was different but you know i've been doing elevators for fucking 20 years man almost like i'm, I'm I've, you know, I, I've gotten to the point where I have nothing left in, in my opinion to prove. So, yeah. um, you know, it, it, you know, it, that, it, it's, it's, listen, I understand it's tough on you girls in the beginning and it, it was tough on her in the beginning because like you said, she thought it was like, you know, you're trying to get away or you don't want to spend time or, but, you know, 
like anything, if you if if you want something bad enough, <laughs> if it's that important to you and you really want to be successful, you have to dedicate time to it. There's no shortcut. You know what I'm saying? And, and you have to. And people will see who's genuine and who's full of shit. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and, I agree. And, and if you're if you're about it, bro, then you got to be about it, and you got to be out there. And you know, and I and I'm also I also uh, am very self aware, and I also like to. You know, I know when when I'm not doing my job and like for the last six, seven months, man, I'm just starting to come out of it where I'm poking my head out and going. I just went to smoke in last week. I met with Abe. I met with Brig. You know, I'm, 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 I'm starting to get back in the swing. But, you know, uh, you know, you have to be self-aware and, and be able to also, uh, you know, uh, admit your own mistakes. And like for me, the last six months, you know, I've been with Amendola like. You know, I've been focused so much on my life and moving down here and, you know, my old man passing away and trying to deal with my mother and trying to get my kid adjusted to her school. And, you know, where I dropped the ball and I'm, I'm, I'm admitting that, um, that I haven't been the person that I was the first two, three years of, of this business. But um, the, See, I, but Chris, that's not dropping the ball, though. And I want to interrupt you there for a second, yeah. because that's that's being realistic, because. Uh, and, and and please hear me out on this. Uh, mm -hmm. um, you know, in life, you have freaking priorities and they're lined up one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. It's real easy to make a decision between number two and number 12. You know, it's a no brainer. It mm -hmm. becomes tougher and you feel a little bit more guilty when you got to make a decision between number two and number three and number one and number three. Yeah. Because yeah. everything's important. But as long as you're keeping them freaking rated and it's still a priority. You're still mm -hmm. doing the right thing. So you didn't you, you didn't drop the ball. You had to reshift your priorities yeah. and your attention on the top priority. And if number three or number two suffers because number one needs your attention, then that's just the way fucking life is. And then you will eventually be able to get back and show your attention back to two and three, which is what you're doing. So don't I don't want to ever hear you say you dropped the ball on that. You didn't. You focus your attention on your top priority. And once that's handled and once you got acclimated and once you're stable. Then you get back to, to, to your to, to your other priorities. That's being a man. Exactly. I appreciate you, Charlie. No, and, and listen, the elevator business, I understand there's a lot of ups and downs in that business. But um <laughs> but, <laughs> so I was holding on to that one for a little bit, but I had to get serious first. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, seriously, I mean that's just you're being a man. That's what that's what you do. And and I'm proud of you for doing that. I'm more proud of you for doing that. Than freaking putting cigar business first and and putting off your top priorities, family first, priorities first. So hats off to you. Yeah. And I know you that right now thing. that you've become you you prioritize that and, and things are now stable. And you're listen, you're not going to be good to anybody if you're not on solid ground. And your priority number one priority of family needs to be on solid ground. Once that's done, you're gonna then everyone will every, everything else will flourish and prosper. No, and I, and I appreciate you saying. That. I'm just very hard on myself. I, I I try not to ever pat myself on the back, man. You got a, you know, in my head, I got a long way to go. I'm like I said, I like to be self aware, and I know what the issue has been with us over the last six months as far as some of our sales and stuff like that. I haven't been on the ball, and I need to, and I know that, and I know that's the problem. Um, you, it, know, you know what, though, that that shit bounces back, bro. I mean, well, it, listen, it, this it, is what it, I tell it, Jeff. It, it, it's a marathon, right? It's not. Well, a that's what I said, and this is what yeah. I told Jeff. And Jeff's like, and, and Jeff, listen, I gotta give Jeff credit. He's you know been running with the football the last you know couple months while I've I've been handling you know personal shit. Um, but you know, I always tell him, I said, listen, at the end of the day, you know, this it is a marathon. It's not a sprint. As long as we got a heartbeat, and as long as People are still enjoying our cigars and interested in what we're doing. We're going to keep on doing it, and we're not going anywhere. As long as we're not – we're not going to quit. We're not going away. Right. That's not ever going to happen. So there might be times where, like, everybody, people go through personal shit in life. And as you said, sometimes you got to prioritize, and there's certain things that come first, um, you know, and – And um, and you have a good you know, partner who actually yeah. understands that and kind of goes – goes and, and takes <laughs> – travels that path with you, Right. You know, yeah, there's no, a lot yeah, of there's, there's a lot of shitheads that when the freaking going gets tough, they bail yeah. and mm -hmm. and and they freaking you know want to wash your hands of. of the well, I I, I, I so think I, great you and Jeffrey have that relationship. I tell no, Kevin we, every we, day. We, have, we, have, we, we pick each other up. We, we pick each other up. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, so just just puts daily. Yeah, I do. I go. That's it, Kevin. I'm never doing this again. And then over on Saturday, what did I do? I did all of the bleed tool orders. Yeah. You didn't have to do one thing. You came home to like 400 <laughs> bleed tools yeah. all ready to be yeah. packed and shipped. So you know, you know, it, it was it was funny when uh, uh, my buddy Ed and I were out in uh, Vegas at the PCA. Uh, we definitely missed you guys. Um, there, at one we'll point, we'll be there we, next year. I promise. Yeah, we, we we kept passing by this guy. Uh, and he was working on an escalator for like an hour. We walked by several times, and I remember saying to Ed, "I'm like, hey, should do, do you think he needs help? Should we ask him if he?" And Ed's like, "Do you know how to work on escalators?" And I go, "I got a guy, you know." I, 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 I really, thought, I'm really like, like we should go over there and maybe like you know, like I don't. It was that rude. I'm like, "Hey, do you need help? Like I could Facetime a guy that might help, you know." But we just let it slide. Um, so. Uh, but yeah, that, that's why I told him. I said, hey, we should go over there and say it, you know, see if he needs some You know what's funny, person. Kevin, is the only other person in my life that I ever knew that did elevators was my father. And they say a woman will marry somebody like her father. And the only other person I ever knew that did elevators was my husband. Oh, that, wow. that, that that's she awesome. So, so. Nah, nah, sheet metal worker. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Uh, so, uh, uh, so, so you're so you're gonna be at PCA next year. So, what are, uh, to wrap things up? Like, what are what are the goals for for Amendola Family Cigars finishing out 2022, coming into 2023? Um, we'll start off with 2022. Are you going to be at a, a, the Ebor City Cigar Heritage Festival by chance? We're actually working on that. We're in talks okay. right now. That we, we're probably going to do that. We're going to definitely. I actually just closed. Uh, uh, everything with JR actually yesterday. We will be at uh smoking in the Carolinas for those two oh, days, okay. 24th and 25th. Um, just button that up actually on, on Friday. Um, we're actually doing this weekend, we're actually doing which is I know odd, but um, it actually worked out really well for us. Something fell in our lap and we decided to take it. I got a phone call and we're doing actually this weekend, we're doing the international golf and trade show at the miami uh international airport convention center it's huge bro it's all like the top golf companies hit list tight list and all these you know all these you know uh you know big obviously you know uh you know brands you know yeah yeah uh, golf brands so we're actually going to be the only the only cigar manufacturer there get so out of here wow. yeah, how, bro, how, how did you how did you get in how did you work that deal <laughs> I had somebody give me a call and they dropped my lap and they were like, listen, man, like we want, you know, I was thinking of somebody who could do it. I figure I'd call you guys. And uh, because I guess somebody reached out from Cigar Snob and uh, they, they, I guess, lost the vendor. I don't know who the vendor was. They wouldn't tell me. Uh, but they, you know, Eric from Cigar Snob reached out to one of my people and then they reached out to us and they were like, listen, I know it's short notice, but would you guys do it? And we're like, and I'm, I was like, you know, I, let me see if I can get my product here in time. And I was able to work it out with my distributor with Illusione in the warehouse. And uh, so I was able to get the product. It should be here tomorrow. And we're just coming down on Thursday. We're going to set up on Friday and we'll be there uh, Saturday and Sunday at the Miami International Airport uh, Convention Center. So that's going to be great for us because now with me being down here in Florida, obviously I want to start crushing this market. And golf is a big part of that. There's tons of golf clubs and all that stuff around here, you know. Uh, so that's awesome. Yeah, that's, and, and and I mean, listen, and the greatest thing—not that I mind competition, but you know, there's going to be nobody there. I mean, we're going to be the yeah. only yeah. cigar. So they're setting us up inside a table inside the convention center, and then they're also setting up an outside smoking lounge. So oh, nice. we're oh, and nice. we're gonna be the only guys with cigars selling cigars, providing cigars. So I think we're gonna do really well, and I think it's gonna also give us an opportunity to network with a lot of good people in this area uh, that could give me the plugs to other things as far as some of these country clubs and golf events and stuff like that. So uh, we're doing That's that awesome. this weekend. We're doing October twenty second. Uh, we're doing smoking in the Carolinas, and uh, in between, obviously, we'll be doing other events. We'll be a TPE. We'll be at PCA, and uh, yeah, man, this year, the goal is 2022, listen, it's been a tough year, um, you know, we're, 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 you know, we're still here, we're still doing well, we're, 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 you know, with our, with our solid retailers, and still trying to work, you know, the smaller accounts, um, but honestly, this year, we got some new projects coming out, next month, uh, we're going to have, uh, our, we're dropping a new series, 
uh, with a new factory. Uh, and you know, I don't, I don't really, well, I don't know, if, whatever, it doesn't matter. But you know, nobody really knows yet. But it's going to be the uh, Amador NYC series. We picked up another factory. Uh, we're going to start using Martinez in New York, which kind of works out for us because we're from New York. Where it's, it kind of goes with our whole vibe. Uh, Martinez has been one of the whole, uh, one of the oldest cigar manufacturers, probably, well, one of the only ones left in New York. They've been there for about 50 years. We have a great relationship with Jesus. We're able to have a little bit more control as it being domestic and us being able to go to the factory and look at the tobacco, go through blends right there on site. So that's going to kind of, one, fill up the gaps and the holes, like when we're having, you know, not issues, but, you know, production in Nicaragua, there's a whole other process. Yeah. You know, between importing, between production times, logistics, all that stuff. Sometimes, you know, it, it's laid. It's fit, you know, so us being able to have Martinez to kind of fill in those holes. Um, we're actually using Kevin. <laughs> this is partially because of you, and you don't even know it. But you remember the smoking connoisseurs club cigar of ours that we almost, well, you loved it. You chose Oh, it. Oh, yeah. That torpedoed one, it's real chocolatey. That was a Martinez cigar. We made that for eight. But we got such good feedback on it, um, and we wanted to start doing something with them anyway. So we're going to start putting that to, uh, to uh, you know, full production, normal oh, production. Sweet. And, uh, you know, I we designed everything. It's going to be NYC series. So every cigar coming out of that series moving forward will be named something in New York. Like the first one, that one, Very cool. we're going to call the, yeah. the West Side Story. Because, oh, I love that. Yeah, because well, because Martinez Cigar is right off the West Side Highway on Twenty Seventh Street, so we're gonna call that one the West Side Story. The next one might be called whatever that you know. So it's gonna be all New York based. We got a couple, a, a little changes on the bands and some artwork changes. Nothing major, but a couple little small little cookie, you know, little 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 cookies laying in there that you, you gotta look to find, but they're there. Little and uh, so we'll have that, and then next year we'll do the trade shows and. You know, we're just trying to pick up kind of where we left off uh, next year and, and, you know, get the ball, get the machine fine-tuned tuned and running again, man. You know, that's kind of where, where we're at right now. So, 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 so right on. Um, uh, so uh, you, since you're here in Florida now, you're going to start doing a lot more like in-store events, trying to well, really funny. just, just get some stores? Yeah, so I was actually at Smoke In last week. I was supposed to be there for like an hour to talk to Brandon, and then I ended up sitting in Abe's office for like an hour and a half and, you know, talking about some things. So I'm definitely going to be a lot more heavily involved, uh, presence-wise, as, as far as hitting all these retailers, getting, you know, building up our our partnership with Smoke In. Um, we're going to be doing, right as of right now, we're probably going to be doing an event uh, coming December for them, a rolling event. Uh, so we're, uh, you know, my goal is to, is to let everybody know that we didn't go nowhere. You know, I'm back, you know, uh, you know, balls to the wall and it's, th it's time to start eating people's fucking lunch again. That's 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 awesome. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, ho hopefully Abe will pick up a few of the blends that I remember Abe was doing a show with somebody and, uh, or it was, I can't remember how it was, but, uh, uh, Amendola came up. And then I can't remember what cigar. I mean, I mentioned the cigar I like and wasn't a Padrino. It was something else. And Abe's like, oh, no, we stocked that. And then Michelle and Tom Poser, Pouser, yeah. uh, love, well, love it. Yeah, yeah, you know, and uh, and then they're like, no, Abe, you don't stock that. And he's like, what? That There's a cigar we yeah. don't stock? You and, know? and you know what? And you know what? Listen, straight up, you know, I don't kiss nobody's ass. You know how I roll. I tell everybody the way it is. I don't give a fuck who you are if you're at the top or the bottom. <laughs> but I have to give a, a big shout out to Abe for uh, giving me the time in his office and kind of talking to me and, you know, uh, giving me, you know, just giving me some guidance. You know, I mean, listen, he's, he's an older guy in this game. He, he, for me not to sit down and listen to what he's got to say after the success that, he, that he's had on the retail side would be foolish on my part. So for him to be able to give me the time of, you know, his time, I mean, he sat with me for about an hour. And I wasn't even expecting to meet with him until Briggs told me, you know, to the back. Um, but I just want to shout out Abe and, and, and uh, you know, thank him for. for I say the same thing. Abe, I, I, I had a meeting with Abe years ago and um, I had been on the show uh, uh, once and then um, I had a meeting with him, like a 15 minute meeting about trying to get some of my product in the shell uh, on there. So, and then he like laid into me for like 90 minutes about what I was doing wrong, what yep. I needed to do in the future. Yep. And it was like, I so I left the meeting, didn't sell him anything, 
and we we became great friends so after that. You Kate know, came home, completely yeah. did his research on everything Abe yeah. suggested, made the changes, went back to Abe, and Abe's like, yeah, you yeah. know. So so uh, yeah, it ended up being it was and, like and it took off. It was like a year later, like Abe like reached out to me. He's like, hey, let's get your products on yeah. on the store. And I'm like, that was a great feeling because he didn't like what I was doing, packaging and everything else, yeah. and then. He saw that I turned it around, and then he's like, "Hey, let's, you know." Let's, well, let's he kind of he kind of did the same thing with me, where he was like not reaming, but he was doing this, like picking the yeah. things that we need to work on. And um, you know, he's like, "Listen, man, I hope you're not mad at me." I said, "Listen, Abe, you, you know, I know you don't know me too well, but I'm a very direct fucking person. I don't get butt sore. So if you need to tell me something like that's wrong, I want you to tell me that you what you feel is wrong, so I could address it. Because if I don't know, then I I can't fix it." So I, I, I appreciate honesty. You know what yes. I'm saying? I don't want you somebody just blowing sunshine up my ass. You know, I want you to tell me the fucking truth, man. You know, and like, and sometimes the truth hurts, you know, but, but there's two types of people. There's people that take the truth and go wallow and bitch and moan in the fucking corner. And there's people that get up and go do something about it to fix the problem. You know, um, and you don't want just yes men on your team, man. You don't want yeah. yes men on your fucking team. You want people who are going to tell you the hard things, the things that, you know, people aren't going to tell you because they don't want to hurt your feelings or they don't want to disrespect you or they don't want to get in an argument with you. So I appreciate Abe's honesty. He, he completely read me out about fucking Facebook because I'm not on fucking He's like, why aren't you on Facebook? You should be. I'm like, man, Jeff deals with Facebook. I don't want to fucking yeah. be on I can't stand social media. He's like, yeah, Chris, well, you can't stand social media, then you need to fucking do something. That, yeah, he started doing that. <laughs> You know, awesome. but he's right. He's right. You know, and, and I, I do social media when I have to listen. I'm a private person, too. You know, like you guys know that you guys know me personally. So, you know, I, I'm all about always being easy access to our customers, our supporters. Yeah. Our, I'm always willing to talk to people. But at the same time, I'm also very private. So, I, you know, you know, I grew up in the days before Facebook, man. I had a pager, you know, so like, you know, it's so I, funny because that's what Chris and I are very similar. Yeah. Kevin's very like open book and i'm like no not everybody needs to know everything so yeah and it's not things like that i'm ashamed of I, no I, I mean, no I, it's know, just I'm your, the first it's, person that that yeah. can laugh at themselves and not take themselves to yeah I'm, there's nothing that i'm hiding no. i just feel like there's a place for the public sector and there's a place right. for where this is mine and this right. is my family and this is my business and this isn't for everybody else to know I you know, and, and, and that's that's just that's you know that's just how I am. So the only reason so. we did this is because of you, Jessica. Just so you know. Yeah. I appreciate that. And I, and I right. really love you guys. That's it. So so we, we definitely want to thank you guys for coming on, spending two hours and fifteen minutes of your time with us tonight. We we definitely we definitely had a blast. Anybody watching this tonight um, on all the platforms, there's a link in the uh, the the show description. Take you to Amandola Family Cigars, their website, their Instagram page. If you're listening on uh, on the on the podcast later on, you know same thing. There's links to uh, uh, Amandola Family Cigars, so definitely check them out. Um, like I said, you can get them at uh, SmokeIn.com. I know uh, maybe one day we'll get you in Corona Cigar, but uh, Smoke Jeff Boyce to wins. I've hit him up. I've talked to him. I'm yeah, so, on uh, a so, yeah, Amandola. You know me, Kevin. Cigar. I'm like a fucking mold. I grow on you. I just gotta, <laughs> <laughs> every, every no, every no eventually is a yes. You just gotta, you gotta. Keep on crack, man. But I'm trying yeah. to get it. Yeah, you yeah. Do. That's it. So, so is uh. Can I just say one thing. Yep. Whoever is on here that has not tried the dessert cigar, if you're not a real smoker, the dessert cigar is amazing. Yeah. You should it, try yeah. it. Yeah. It, it really it is it is it fantastic. Is delicious. I love the dessert cigar. So, uh, um, Care, Jen, Jessica, anybody got any final uh, questions, comments for our uh, for our guest tonight? No, I thanks for having on. Yeah, for I was going to say thank you so much. That was what I was going to say, too. Well, listen, I, honestly, bro, like I wouldn't have done this for nobody else but you <laughs> bring my wife on. I mean, I love you guys, man. I've been, you know, trying, you know, I've loved you since day one, man. Uh, Carrie. Oh. <laughs> Figures I always get ready to say something nice about me. Yeah. Fucking drops. Yeah. He was like, oh. oh my god, we'll we'll give him a minute and uh, see if he uh see if he I think he's gonna say, up. Carrie, you know, I look up to you. You're, you're idol, like a big brother you. to like me. Brother. And oh my god. Carrie, you but know, I you're the man. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're so handsome. You, Dev, you know, I, 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 you I know. model our Amandola cigars yeah, after you. Yeah, 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 model yeah. a sneaker collection after me. I know yeah, that. I, yeah. I had but the I, same I, sneakers for the last 10 years. I, yeah. I know. I, I have pretty old sneakers, too. Kevin buys the same <laughs> yeah. pair, and then he buys them in bulk. <laughs> that, 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 that's it. So I'm just, I'm just wondering, I was out of the blue. I bet his phone or whatever he was on just died. died. No, oh, there he is. Oh, there, ah, there, yeah. there, 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 he, there he comes. <laughs> So, hey, right. can you guys? I'm sorry, yeah. man. My my shit died. I didn't have a. Oh, that's what we just. That's said. I guess. So, so you're 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 in the middle of saying something really nice about me. What was that? <laughs> no, no. I just wanted to say, listen, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. But I, I I'm, you know, in all honesty, uh, the fact that you guys even care enough to have you know us on here and want to know you know what's going on with Amadola and all. I I I appreciate you guys, man. Listen. I, you know, I'm I'm a big proponent of not forgetting where you come from and not forgetting the people that helped you get there and the people that supported you when it wasn't easy because it's always easy to support somebody when they're at the top of the fucking mountain. It's yeah. when you know they're at the fucking bottom and they're nobody. That's that's when that's when it real that's when you really see who's your fucking friend. So uh, I got nothing but love for everybody on the screen. Jen, Carrie, fucking you know. Yes. Um, Jess, Jess, obviously Jess and Kevin, and I appreciate you guys you, giving Stephanie. us, you know, your platform. And um, you know, I'm always, I'm always available for you guys. Uh, whatever you need, man. Whether it's a phone call, whether you got a problem with somebody, whether you got, you know, you want cigars, I got you guys, man. Yeah, whatever you guys ever need guy. from me, I'm always in your corner, man. So just, just know that. And uh, I thank you and all your supporters for taking the time. To even uh, listen to me, so I appreciate and, and Jeff would be interested in what we're doing. So, Thanks, all right, man, guys, love appreciate you guys. guys. Have a good night. Have a good night. All right, guys, guys. be good. Be good. I'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 Didn't, so, didn't quite didn't quite have that same. You know, <laughs> I didn't hear him get back into it. No, he yeah. he, he, he just got general. I, I was, that moment is lost. It's okay. yeah, that yeah, moment is lost. Gone. So, um, all right. So everybody that's still listening or watching, uh, start typing in the word cigar for our giveaway. Uh, and in the meantime, let's hear it. Let's, you let's have a UK over there. Jen's having freaking spontaneous seizure. Right. That's it. Let's hear a word from our sponsor, Corona Cigar. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's time for the Tapping Ash and Taking Names giveaway presented by Amandola Family Cigars uh, from our uh, um, uh, fine uh, sponsors at Drew Estate Cigars. Uh, we do have uh, one of the original uh, Freestyle Live uh, kits that comes with the, uh, oh, the, uh, um, what happened to the cutter? I'm going to have to find the cutter. Maybe they misplaced it. It's uh, it's at least a wallet. Maybe they and, misplaced it. <laughs> Maybe they misplaced it. Take it. Heaven yeah. probably took it no. out. And, no. and put it I ordered this thing. It just came with a wallet. So, yeah. all right. So you're going to get something from them, and then you're going to get a uh, um, a five pack. This is one of the Corona uh, regular cigar of the month club uh, shipments. So, uh, um, like, I think there's only two people that cannot win tonight: Joey D and George Frank. Sorry, and anybody George. and anybody watching and listening. Uh, so, the Broadleaf Bullies. We have a, a, a show. We actually have our own uh, YouTube channel. It's called the Broadleaf Bullies. You can actually go on all the major podcasting platforms as well and just search for Broadleaf Bullies. You can see, I think we're up. What season are we on, uh, uh, Kara? I've lost track. 18. Uh, I, think it's, I, think it's, I think it's season five. five. It's season think, five, yeah. Wow. Yeah, season so se five. season five already. So absolutely uh, uh, fantastic uh, show that we love doing each and every week. Just more of this um, if, if you if you can handle it. Um, so, all right. So we're going to share our, <laughs> we're going to share our screen here. Not as nice as it was tonight on no, some of the shows. This was, uh, was... mild. <laughs> so, all right, Kara, um, can you, uh, can you see the screen? Yes, yes sir. we can. All right. So, all right. We're going to start collecting comments. All right. We got 18 comments to, to draw from. <laughs> do, uh, you, do, you got do, it? Do you not? Okay. I mean, do go for it. No, no, you got it. 
So Steve, Steve. Right. Right. Steve. Steve. congratulations. congratulations. So shoot me an email. Get a wallet. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Shoot me an email. Better. He <laughs> probably already even has that probably. freestyle. So but, uh, shoot yeah. me you get a wallet yeah. and a cutter with some <laughs> tobacco in it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's it. Uh, send me an email, Kevin at cigarprop.com. We will make uh, sure there's yeah, we'll something have to go, yeah, in we'll there. Yeah, we'll find something to put in that put in that spot. Um, so all right. Um, next week we uh finally uh, uh Juan Lopez from Gurkha Cigars is gonna join us. I've been Juan and I have been trying to go back and forth for a long time to get uh, uh to get Juan on the show. Um finally I nailed him down when I was at PCA. So uh he's got some uh some cool uh, uh cool new cigar line pure evil coming out uh and uh, i've had just... that oh have you i haven't had one yet yeah. I, I forgot to get one when i was uh when i was yeah. out there i've had one uh, a little while ago right when uh when dave from uh, the owner of boda cigars came back from uh from pca he gave me uh, one of the one of the one of those cigars all right uh there's been like like a abe over smoking he had said that uh, on one of his shows he was real apprehensive about putting a cigar on a shelf called pure evil so um yeah it was a uh, kind of yeah interesting we'll definitely have to bring that up and see if he's mm. heard that from uh from anybody from anybody else but uh yeah super awesome um uh I, I love Juan such a such a great guy uh definitely a brand that gets a bad rap but uh we'll uh, we'll go more into that with uh with with Juan uh, next week um cigar prop producer Jessica Caraviahante all the social medias are in the links down below um, I did not put Jen's uh, social media because uh, I forgot. I don't have one. You know, so <laughs> she she does not have one that she wants to share with one. anybody. No. Nope. So so yeah. Go so, through uh, care. Go just go through care. Viajante yeah. Stogie Road, Stogie Road yeah. cigars. Um, once again, uh, uh, we want to thank all of our uh, uh, partners for helping us support the show. Care, you're gonna have that uh, uh, queued up. Or Jessica, Jessica, don't, you are, care, you, don't touch that. Don't touch. I'm that not button. touching no. shit, man. Don't touch I, that palette. Yeah. Listen, Kevin, you he wanted us all on early to go that's over it. everything, and he's even that, confusing that, himself. That's it. So <laughs> once again, a big thank you to J.C. Newman Cigars, Cigar Medics, and Mandola Cigars. We are the muscle. Excelsior Tobacco, makers of the Doña Lydia. GTO Cigars, those who know, smoke GTO. Corona Cigar, and of course, Drew Estate. Hold on. And Experience Acid Care. I already knew that. Sign us off. Did you? Yes, because I've been doing this show with you for how long? Oh, that's right. Am I? Are we doing the show outro? Or are we doing the bullies? Uh, I, I got the sponsor outro. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, the sponsor outro. They're they're they're, pay, they're 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 paying us, so we got to do the sponsor outro. So 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 All we right. will. Okay, so what we'll do make is, sure. Okay, so Kara, you leave us with the final thought, and then we will go through our bullies. But instead of playing the bullies outro, we'll play the sponsor outro. All right. Well, life is short. Sit down, enjoy a cigar. With that being said, I'm broadly fully Kevin. I'm broadly fully Jess. I'm broadly fully Care. I'm broadly fully Jen. And remember, bullies make good friends. friends.